accept our apology for surprising you like that. <laughs> you see, we were only trying to test your fighting skill. That's the truth, Mr. Samurai, sir. Oh, but we haven't introduced ourselves. These fellows are my brothers, and we're of the Bonsai Clan, who control the small town down the road. Shut up. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> actually, a bit of a situation has come up, and we were hoping to find a strong samurai like you, for example. Not interested. Oh? A woman? A woman? A woman? Uh, samurai? Gentle. Are you nearsighted? Can't any of you figure out just by looking at me that I'm an extremely busy person right now? What? To clarify, I'm trying to take a restful nap. A, a nap, ma'am? Yes. Observe. Uh -huh. The weather is pleasant, warm, and relaxing, wouldn't you say? Yeah. And isn't the wind gentle and soothing today? Uh, sure, sure I suppose. Oh. I have all the perfect conditions necessary for a nice, refreshing nap. It would be nothing less than inhuman to interrupt such perfection, don't you agree with that? Yeah, inhuman? By disturbing a nap, one of life's true pleasures, you three have committed an act so inhuman it's unworthy of even the lowest mongrel. And in the past, I would have spared no hesitation in filleting all of you like fish as a fit punishment for your thoughtless crime. Consider yourselves lucky. Because, out of respect for this agreeably balmy afternoon, I will allow you to keep your undeserved lives, and now that I have bothered to explain myself, all of you may... buzz off. Uh, uh... But ma'am, sir! <laughs> on you pathetic losers. It's not a road you can walk with your heads held high in triumph, you know. <laughs> that isn't funny. This entire area used to belong to the Bonsai Clan, not you. You robbed us. We were swindled out of our land by your fraudulent gambling. You're just a lousy gang of bullies and thieves. What did you say? How dare you show such disrespect for the boss's generosity after he spared your worthless life and those of your miserable family as well. Oh, I don't remember ever accepting the so-called generosity of a dirty, cheating son of a bitch! Why, you filth! I give you a chance to speak and you repay me with slander? Fine, you've had your say. Now I'll arrange it so you'll never have to talk again! <laughs> 
Come on, what's with you guys? What a bunch of whips you're acting like. What? Who the hell are you, girl? Huh? You mean me? I'll tell you who I am, so listen well. I was born in a land lush with plants. Iron catfish is my fighting style! Lady Meow, a true beauty of justice, who calms the crying babe! That woman is I! Ha! I don't care if your name is Meow or Wolf. Mind your place, lowly female! Excuse me? If you think you can just insult me like that and get away with it, you're mistaken, moron! But moron? Why, you saucy harlot! <gasps> what, what did you say? <gasps> Oh, how dare you call Lady Meow, who is sweeter than a flower blossom! A saucy harlot! How dare you! You know I mean? I shall teach all of you a lesson that you won't forget with a punch of my iron cat. Let's get Of the young lady over there who seems exceptionally popular with the men, so I came over to offer my sword. Uh, uh... Ha! Impudent beggar! No! for a woman. Why, thank you. We will settle this someday, at our leisure. You, you'll pay for this! Come on, give us your best shot! Serves you right, you no-good party! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, you defy strong, you're so powerful, so remarkable! As for that bodyguard named Miyashita, he's not only an utterly contemptible villain, he's a formidably tough character with a vicious edge. Ah, uh, but you far outclass that arrogant buffoon, brave lady samurai! Bravo, well done! Once again, may I impose upon you to reconsider the request to help our bonsai clan teach those evil Betty Tsubaki? Yo, 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 yo. Not to mess with us! Pretty please, Madam Samurai! Not interested. Oh? Oh? eaten anything substantial in the last two days. But that's no reason for so much complaining. I'm not to blame if there's no food. The truth of it is, one must have money in order to do anything in this world. See, I'm quite broke. You're the stomach of a samurai. Therefore, resign yourself to your fate. Huh? <laughs> ah, I suppose you happened to overhear what I was saying. Miss Samurai, do you always hold conversations with your own stomach? Well, um, not usually. However, it was creating such an awful racket, I felt the need to talk back. <laughs> well, is that strange? I'm sorry, it's just so... <laughs> yes, well, uh... Uh-oh. Miss Samurai, would you care to stop by the rice bowl restaurant where I work and have a bite to eat? If you fill that grouchy belly of yours, then perhaps it won't talk so harshly to you. Thank you for the offer. I would really love to take you up on it. But as I just got through telling my stomach, I don't have enough money for that luxury. Oh, don't worry. No need to pay. My uncle's the owner of the restaurant. Oh? He'll admire your humor, too. You know, Miss Samurai, I don't remember the last time I laughed this much. Huh? So, come on, uh, come uh, on! Uh, it's right this way! <laughs> Welcome to the bonsai compound, miss. This is it? Please go right in. We're eager for you to meet Dad. I mean the boss. Uh, right. I'm in love! I'm there, boys! I'm in love! Sir? Yeah, all right, sure. What happened? Ma'am, he said he was very tired, so he's going to go to sleep now. 
Huh? He also said that our future is in your hands. Lady Meow, you have to help us take back what's rightly ours from the Bennett Tsubaki. Duh, you told me that. That's why I came here. Don't you remember? Oh, how reassuring! Boss, my name is Meow, and I am but a traveling martial artist. However, I will rise to the occasion and take it upon myself to aid the Bonsai Clan. Right on! Here you go. I hope you enjoy it. Please eat. Uh, go ahead. Uh, very well, I will. Thank you. A little hungry, miss? That rice vanished. Would you care for another bowl? Uh, um, really? If you insist. <laughs> well, owner, what can I say but thank you? I had the pleasure of devouring not only one, but two helpings of your wonderful rice. It's huh? sad to say, but this is all the money I've got. I feel terrible for asking, but would you be so kind as to accept this and allow me to pay you the rest later? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? She's a funny woman, Uncle. You were right. Listen, Lady Samurai, I can't take your money. What? But that simply wouldn't be fair. Of course I'll pay. You mustn't argue. You really are a fun character. My niece Sakura wasn't exaggerating. I haven't had a good laugh like that in a long time either. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. Besides... Those damn bandits would just make off with the profits like before. Uncle. You in, old man? <laughs> Seems you've hardly made any money today. Better put your back into your work, lazy old cooter. We'll have to get rough. For now, we'll just take everything you've got. Please, leave us something or we won't be able to restock. <laughs> your poor salesmanship is nothing to brag about, so bite your tongue. Stop! Please let him off this one time. Oh. That's a lot of bold talk for a bonsai girl, Sakura. Treat me with some respect. Hey. Huh? Look, you're that samurai. You're not leaving here with that money. <sighs> Drop the money now. Ah! You'll... You'll pay for this! Uh, uh, lady samurai, we're deeply grateful for what you've done. So that's what you meant by those bandits making off with the profits. <sighs> If I remember correctly, they belong to the so-called Benitsubaki clan. So you know of them, then? Yes. They're not what you'd call an agreeable group, are they? No, but I can't use the words to describe them in front of ladies. Ever since they took control of our town, life has become a wakeful nightmare. They call the money we shopkeepers earn a levy, and then the thieves come around to collect every last coin we've got. If they don't get our money that way, then they steal it with rigged gambling. And my son, Kikuchiro. Uncle, don't. When, when they dragged my son off to their gaming house, he accused them of being lying cheats and was punished for it. <laughs> Kikuchiro! Kikuchiro! He was gambling when your son just suddenly collapsed for no reason. He and Sakura were in love and they were engaged to be married, but now she's been robbed of her fiancé. Sakura, are you of the bonsai clan? Yes. I'm the bonsai's daughter. You also happen to have three brothers who are as clumsy as oxen, right? Y yes Um, do you know of my little brothers? Sakura, I'm afraid those three blockheaded brothers of yours are planning to attempt something dangerously rash. Huh? If you want to save their hides, stop them if you can. Mister, thank you for the fine meal. I make good on my debt, so I'll be back to pay you what I owe. Although I can't say for sure when that'll be. Hmm, that explains the deserted streets. Hey, woman. Oh, it's you again. Uh, oh. Say, would that happen to be a jug of, uh, you know. Huh? You mean this? Some premium sake I've just acquired. Ah, I was hoping so. Aha, uh -huh. so you like this stuff, do you? Oh, uh, well, no, I wouldn't say I particularly like sake. Want to stop by for a while at the Benitsubaki house with me? All you can drink, and there's plenty of liquor, I guarantee it. Thanks, I'll keep your offer in mind. However, I, uh, really would like just one little sip. What? Here in the street? Come on, I only want a lick's worth of your taste. Imbecile! <laughs> How difficult could it be?
it be to collect a simple levy? Can't you even do that? I, I'm sorry, but a strange female drifter came along and interfered. She was a samurai. A female samurai drifter? Yes, sir. And she's an awfully tough fighter. So all of you tucked your tails between your legs and ran? Yes! You ought to try showing more kindness to your subordinates, Benny Tsubaki. Sensei. It's her! Boss, the woman samurai! That's the one I was telling you about! Is it? Yes, but as of today, she's a Benny Tsubaki bodyguard, just like me. Actually, I'm still thinking about it. Mm. Yashita seems to be taking far too many liberties around the places of late. <gasps> hey, you three. Sakura, it's you. I want to know what you're doing. Sakura, we're about to charge in and crush Bennett Tsubaki and his men, that's what. You've all lost your minds if you honestly believe you can defeat them. Sakura, right? Please don't worry about your brothers because I, Meow of the Iron Catfish, can assure you that under my leadership, Whatever the foe shall fall. To be. And Please, justice could you will just mind your own that. business? Uh, uh. Stop this now, you three. Big sister, I know you can't tolerate it either. You hate that Kikujiro's murderers have gone unpunished. We'll uh. avenge his death for you. <sighs> Uh... Ah! You're a serious yes. drinker, aren't you? Not really. I wouldn't say so. You know, it's obvious the Benitsubaki camp is full of corrupt men who are up to no good. Don't you find the idea of working for them somewhat troubling? Whether Benitsubaki is a saint or a devil doesn't bother me one bit. Getting paid well is all I care about. Oh, well. I guess there are those who can live with that. Hey, you! What are you worms doing Shut here? Shut your trap! The Boatside Clan is here to wreak wholesale justice and vengeance upon the hey. Benetton Rocky Clan! Get the pair that are you time to go to work. Joking, or have you gone insane? Get the hell out of here before you lock your parts off! Come on out! Benetton Rocky! So, you incompetent knotheads have still got a grain or two of courage left in you, I see. Actually, I was planning to have you three dealt with in the near future. However, by daring to come here yourselves, you've conveniently saved me considerable effort. Hey, Benny Tsubaki, I'm familiar with all of your evil exploits and corruption. You see, I, Lady Meow, am a person who can't rest until this town is cleaned up of bloodsuckers like you and your hoodlum crew. <laughs> Allow me. I have to pay off my liquor tab. <laughs> Hey, you're that samurai! Dregs of a woman, what's wrong with you? Have you decided to earn dirty money after Step all? Aside. Huh? I've been told that the only cure for stupidity is death. Would you like to be smarter? <laughs> you three will die. A dog's death. A death without honor or purpose. Although, if you run home immediately, tend your wounds and start living honestly, you'll live long, useful lives. Which do you choose? <laughs> they chose wisely, Benitsubaki. Now why don't you do the same and say that nothing happened here today? What? I would strongly advise that you and your clan all have a change of heart and begin living honest lives also. Don't mess with me, arrogant bitch! You brought this defiant woman here, therefore you put her to the sword! Unfortunately, it seems that you and I lead very different lives. True. Each of us walks a different road. Mine, I think, is better, though. Hey, 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 hey! It's you. What 
as you want. In my estimation, you're not half bad. I have a better opinion of you now. I really don't care about your or anyone else's opinion of me. Don't be that way. My name's Meow at the Iron Catfish. What's yours? Who knows? Uh, what do you mean? Wait up! Hey! I told you my name, so it's only fair that you tell me yours. Why should I? Why should you? Well, I'll tell you why. It's a little thing called manner. This rain shows no sign of stopping. Oh, I almost forgot. At times like this, it's best to warm the body from the inside with the water of life. Huh? Empty? This is bad. I forgot to replenish my supply. It's utterly inexcusable. A nice cup of sake. Piping hot sake. Gotta have some. Hot sake! What the hell is wrong with this town? There isn't a single bar. Towns are towns because they're supposed to offer bars and accommodations. This is utterly inexcusable. Oh. Well, what do you know? There is one. In this situation, I welcome a restaurant or a two-bit speakeasy as long as they serve sake. Actually, cold is fine. You can bring me a bottle of that. Coming up. Huh? One bottle of cold, ma'am. I've been looking forward to this. Hmm. What's the meaning of this? Oh, man, I want sake, not a bottle of crap. Yes, ma'am. Of course it's water. Don't you? Yes, ma'am. Of course it's water. Me? I ordered a cold one, and I expect a cold one. Now, where is it? It's right in front of you. I brought you a bottle of cold water, ma'am. That's ridiculous. Ever since olden times, a cold one has always meant a cold sake. I wouldn't find this funny even for a practical joke. What I'm trying to tell you, ma'am, is that sake isn't written anywhere on the menu. So then what's that over there on the wall? Printed in clear, big words, it reads cold or hot. As you can see, cold refers to cold water, and hot refers to hot water. Who ever heard of a restaurant putting water as an item on their menu? Now listen, Lady Samurai, I'm not the kind of misguided soul who would deal in the purveyance of distilled spirits. Alcohol brings about nothing good. All it causes is a lot of harm. When liquor's involved, people raise their voices in an unseemly manner and make a big scene, like you're doing right now. Without a shadow of a doubt, alcohol is the devil's water. You're out of luck if you want to drink sake because it's banned in this town. Get out of here and go somewhere else. Uh, 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 hey, what do you think you're doing, old man? Hmm. Oh. Hey, mm. what? You, you rotten restaurant announcing sake as the devil's water? Brother, how self-righteous can you be? And if you're not going to serve sake, then you might as well board up this lousy place. Hmm. She said the word. She said sake. Hmm, wonder what their problem is. What is wrong with this town? It's inexcusable. Utterly inexcusable. I've never... Hmm? What's that smell? It's alcohol. <laughs> Can you get yourself home okay, mister? <laughs> Be careful and have a safe trip home. Please, come again. We look forward to your business. Got sake? Huh? Here's the sake. You have some, don't you? I want it. Well, wait, lady. I'll tell you what you want to know. Just let go of me first, will you? There's no need for the rough stuff. If you're a customer, please say so. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Come with me. Hmm? Hey, lady, I thought you wanted to drink sake. If you do, then please follow me and stay close, okay? Right. <laughs> it's this way. Come, this way, this way. There it is. Mountain, river. 
Isn't that backwards? Huh? Isn't what backwards? Passwords are normally used to confirm the identity of the person entering, not the one who's already inside. Oh, don't worry about that. Welcome. Huh? You are a new patron here, aren't you, madam? Please, won't you come inside? Right this way. We'd like to thank you for coming to our establishment. If you'll just follow me, I'll seat you in the main room. Hey, we have a customer! Table for one! Right! Isn't this entrance a bit much? <laughs> Come right this way. <laughs> oh, man, that was, that was awesome. Well, what do you know? I would not take that. I would take that. I can smell sake, definitely. At any rate, I'll give it a go. Hey, a uh, waiter, bottle of cold. Bottle of cold coming up. And not a bottle of cold water. I want rice wine sake, you understand? Uh, cold always means cold sake, naturally. That's what I want to hear. Why don't we make this round our last one? Over drinking is bad for one's health, you know. I know. Anyway, you're completely drunk. Drunk? My Robert, I'm not drunk. I'm as sober as can be. Does one itty bitty sip will make anyone drunk? Hey, has anyone ever told you you bear striking someone so faint in some <laughs> Well, here's your bottle of cold. Sake, is that what this crap is supposed to be? Huh? Young lady. Huh? I have no idea what your game is or what your problem might be, but we'd appreciate it if you wouldn't pick a fight here, all right? Pick a fight? You heard me. We don't need a disturbance here. The other customers want to relax and enjoy their drinks, you see? I really don't know if they're enjoying their drinks or not. However, I'm positive they're all drunks who wouldn't recognize good booze if they were bitten by it. I'm not drunk, uh -huh. no, I'm not me. Let's go someplace and we'll talk about this matter in private. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> wow, this really is a coincidence. You're even quick tempered and violent, just like my acquaintance I was telling you about. What are the chances of that? <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? That's smart. You, what's your problem? See what I mean? She does the same thing. She's so full of herself. She calls me you, too. Falling nitwits and fight picking fools. Damn drunks are a major pain in the butt to deal with. I couldn't agree with you more. While the commotion as my staff failed to render satisfactory service, if they've been remiss in their duty, then I'd like to be alerted. And you would be? Hey, Hachiro, the owner of this bar. There isn't any commotion. The sake is bad here, and I simply voiced a complaint. Are you claiming my establishment is serving inferior sake? It's very bad indeed. It's also extremely low of you to serve such poor sake to your patrons and maintain a guilt-free mind. From what you're saying, I suppose you'd rather have good sake, eh, Lady Samurai? But the only problem with good sake is its similarity to poison. Poison? You see, the better it is, the more you drink of it. Therefore, it becomes a poison. That's why it's devil water. So do you really want to contend with something so poisonous as well? What kind of ridiculous nonsense are you babbling about? Lady Samurai, by selling sake, we fulfill a constant and growing demand placed on us by those customers who insist upon drinking this devil water. Even though it tears at our hearts to do so. I haven't been able to follow anything you've said, but I do understand one thing. I have no interest in wasting my time in a bar that offers swill to drink, and on that note, I'll leave now. Very good. Hmm? The bill for one bottle of cold you ordered comes to 1DO Tuboon. Please settle up before you go. What? You're not actually going to charge me for drinking this. 
Talk about absurd. Is this the face of someone who's trying to be absurd? Yes, it is. Your face was absurd to begin with, and now it's been growing even more absurd by the second. <laughs> As for you, mister, stop this idiotic business right now. <laughs> Lady Samurai, this trade is in no way directed towards self-interest, I assure you. My customers are going to drink the forbidden sake whether or not it's lawful. All the money that they spend on it goes toward the construction of watchtowers, bridges, and the maintenance of this community. It's all for the people's good and for the town's good. It's forbidden? Who in the world would declare the drinking of sake to be forbidden? I'm the one who set that ban into motion since I'm the one who runs this town. <laughs> Ma'am, that'll be one deal, two boon. Uh, thank you. Come again. Hey, what is this? There's only seven moon here. Ah! Hold it! Hey, wait up! Here's a lookalike! Hold on! Hmm? Oh, that's sake! Wasted. A drop of sake is like a drop of blood. You will shed one tear for every single drop that is thoughtlessly wasted. Sake? Am I to assume that you're an admirer of sake, miss? This isn't bad. It's very young, but still, it has some merit. Its youth is certainly a virtue, but it hasn't quite developed the mellowness of age. It has some time to go before it's fully mature. Yes, you're right! It's a new batch I made this year. My master told me exactly what you've just said, but he won't even taste it. <sighs> well, it's markedly superior to the watered-down sake they served me in that lousy underground bar. Uh... Say, who are you? Me? Uh, well, I... <laughs> So as fate would have it, you're the private sake brewer for the underground bar I was in, eh? Yeah. As a good sake brewer, you have to stock last year's batch for this year and this year's for the next. Who the hell would want to make bad sake? Hmm. But the fact remains that you're producing diluted liquor and selling it to them, right? Oh. From the reaction you had a minute ago, I can see you have a sincere love and appreciation of sake. That's why I can't understand why you're giving the stuff to them watered down. I... Why don't you try giving them the real thing for a change? It's not possible! Hmm? <sighs> I came to inspect tomorrow's batch. Have you prepared it? Um, yes, sir. Here it is. It's still too strong. You'll have to put more water in it. More? It'll be too weak! <laughs> Have you forgotten who to thank for making it possible to brew your precious sake, fool? Well? No, no, sir. <laughs> Just do exactly what I tell you to do without question, and everything will go fine. Unless you want to endure the same fate as your former master and be thrown out of here. <clears throat> By the way, I trust you haven't been secretly meeting with that old fogey against my wishes. <sighs> Never! I swear to you, I don't even know where he is! As you know, those who produce the devil water are devils themselves. If I should come across anyone of that description, hmm, punishment for his crime will be severe. <laughs> Just a beautiful woman who loves her sake. What? 
Who did you hear about this place from? The sake. Huh? The aroma of sake led me right to your place. Hmm. Just a sake lover, eh? It doesn't appear you're lying about that. Mm. Oh, my. May I please try a little sake? No, don't. Huh? Why not? Just one cup? Don't. Oh. <sighs> but why? It has to age one more day. Really? One day? Mm -hmm. In exactly 24 hours, not a minute earlier. It shouldn't be consumed before it's prime. So, my sake-loving friend, why don't you come back here tomorrow? Perhaps I'll let you have some, if you're lucky. <sighs> you bet I'm coming. Sake sure is scary stuff. It's not meant for drinking, right, Denkichi? <laughs> <laughs> Did that little sip help loosen your tongue? What? You say you want more? I'm happy to oblige. Talk, stop, please. to my sake. This is good. This is very good, Sake. It fills my heart. Good. Perhaps after this he'll be able to focus on business and keep us in Sake. Now he's the only one who can make it, and we own him. Water the stuff down, sell it, sit back, and enjoy a thriving monopoly. What a disreputable comment. Don't say such a thing. The money we make is strictly for the benefit of this poor town. I'm simply a benevolent man, and no one could ever accuse me of any wrongdoing. I only skim a tad off the top for all the trouble I go through. That's it. <laughs> it's a small amount? <laughs> Very small amount. <laughs> uh -huh. I heard it all! You're that pesky drunk. How long have you been there? So, Mr. High and Mighty is really nothing more than a crook that's got everybody fooled. Very clever scheme. I'm sure you're pleased with yourself. <laughs> Since you overheard our conversation, my dear, you've left me with no option. Hurry, get her, now! Come on, I'm ready for you! <laughs> no appreciation for the simple pleasure of good liquor would never understand the sorrow of helping sake is used for evil purposes. You heard the woman now back off, you pothead! Yeah. 
I may think you pulled the wool over everybody's eyes, but all of you know Lady Meow is seen through all your evil plot. Ah, uh, get rid of her and be quick about it. You were the boss. your master who deserves to enjoy it. <gasps> when you feel in your heart that you've created truly exceptional sake, I'll drop by for a drink, whether I'm invited or not. Oh, I feel sick. and interesting around here, huh? Oh, it seems they have a lot of slender women here also. Oh! Hey, waitress, I'm still waiting for my Oshiduko. It's coming right up. Good, I've been waiting forever. Here's your Oshiruko finally. I'm sorry about the long way. <laughs> my dessert, no, I'm so happy. What's this? Did someone forget his package? I wonder what's inside of it. Oh. Uh. 
Please don't cry. Try to work with me, kid. I'm a fish out of water. I'm the one who should be crying here. Ah, a soft breeze on my face is always pleasant. Beautiful weather like this always makes a person crave a good shot of sake. Unfortunately, even though I have leeway in my heart, I have no leeway in my wallet. And of course, now that I'm in need of the girl, it only figures that she's nowhere to be found. Well, maybe I have a few swallows. Some left. Damn, is it empty already? This is quite utterly inexcusable. Huh? <laughs> wandering in sheer poverty has finally become intolerable, forcing your enfeebled mind to flip out. And without thought of consequence, you haven't taken up kidnapping, I trust. What do you think? Do I look like the type of woman that would do something so vile? Yes, of course. That's why I said it. Okay, now I'm really pissed off! Oh, there, there. It's all right. Please don't cry. It's been crying nonstop the whole time. I hope it's all right. Nothing seems to be wrong. I think he's just hungry. Say, sis, can you get milk? Why'd you hit me? That hurt. You can spare a little, can't you? Snitchy! How do you expect to look after an infant when you can't even look after yourself properly? Why don't you just leave that thing somewhere? What are you saying? How could you be so cold-hearted? You're inhuman. That's what you are! Hard women like you with souls of ice and no blood in your veins or tears to weep are the type that abandon tiny helpless infants. That's the result of drinking sake every day. What a terrible life to lead. You say something? Not a word. Okay, Meow, I won't ignore the problem. That's my sister, Ron. What a quick change of heart. Now you can carry him. This kid is so heavy, I'm dying here. What do you mean? Absolutely not. Huh? I'm not ignoring the baby's immediate needs. Right now, we have to find some lodging. Stop moving around. Do you have to wiggle so much? Hey, wait! Good grief. All done. Uh. Sis, I was only able to find some rice water for him. Do you think that'll do the trick? Don't ask me. How would I know? Come on now, Mame Taro. Time to eat. Mame Taro? Right, like Mame a soybean and Taro a boy's name. Mame? Beans fat in the field, and if it bears fruit and it's green, then it's a green soybean. Making tofu in those tasty bean curd leaves. Bean curd leaves? Sounds appetizing. Precious little soybean, he'll be a fine man. <gasps> Look, he's drinking it! That's all well and good, but he's dribbling more than he's drinking. And by the way, would you mind not getting that mess on my clothing? I didn't spill that much. Hmm? Ah, bottom spill! Oh no, he sprang a leak! Why, yes, there was a girl attired strangely. She carried the infant in a basket when she left. <laughs> if you suddenly make a horrible face at him like that, of course he's going to cry. Here, let me see the little tyke. Look, you're flying up high. What's the matter, Mommy Taro? Don't you want to play? What is it? What? What? Is something wrong? Mommy Taro? Mommy Taro? Mommy? Bean Lee's? Bean Lee's? Hey, hey, come Sis, on now, my little one. Babies will definitely speak their minds, and I'm sure that he's more afraid of you. Right, Mommy Taro? Utterly inexcusable. I can't help wonder who he belongs to. From looking at the basket and blankets, one can tell they weren't cheap. Well, we can't trouble with the baby, so it's probably best if we locate the real mother as soon as possible. Uh. <gasps> Miss? 
Miss, will you be going out for the day? Until this evening. Please, let those two upstairs sleep undisturbed. gentlemen are rushing off somewhere in a big hurry. If you have business with me, simply approach me in the street and I'll speak with you there. <laughs> hmm, you're not only impolite, you're also violent as well. is becoming much more troublesome than I care for. Somewhere, you'd better stay put and keep an eye on him. I don't need your help, you ice-hearted creature! Get lost! I'm so pissed off that sucky, swilling woman! Hey, you. Yeah, can I help you? Where's the house that bears this family crest? Uh, I recognize that crest. It's from Lord Matsuzaka's mansion. Matsuzaka? Are you on your way to visit Lady Oyu, too? Lady Oyu? You can't blame her after what happened. They say the kid was spirited away or something like that. Personally, I don't believe it. Spirited away? Yeah, I'm talking about the family heir. I'm absolutely positive it's an evil plot of the wife. Oh. Or you, the mistress, gave birth to an heir first, so I wouldn't be at all surprised if that she-devil of a wife took matters into her own hands and did something with the little boy. Look, the Matsuzaka house is right over there, miss. No! Oh. He's a samurai. His name's Beninosuke. He's the wife's you-know-what. Oh, in broad daylight! The nerve of that guy! Cats and dogs with show more restraint, don't you agree? Uh -huh. Look, she's gone. <gasps> My lady Oyu, good morning. It's only me, Yuki. <coughs> lady Oyu, please! Ma'am, you mustn't strain yourself. I know. Thank you, Yuki. Um, I came to deliver this to you from Madame Matsuzaka. This medicine is supposed to be full of nourishment to give you strength. Now that my precious son is gone, what good will come of prolonging my own life? Don't give up hope, my lady. I'm sure young Tamachio is unharmed. Oh, how I have dreamed that he is unharmed. <sighs> Dreams never come true. I have grown weary of dreaming. All I wish for is to be put out of my misery. <gasps> oh, my lady! Oh, oh, please, Lady Oyu, please forgive me. I am the one to blame. Madame Matsuzaka ordered me to do it. I took Tamachio, my lady. What? You mean he's alive and safe after all? Yes. Hmm, my dear Beninosuke, unfortunately we can't keep things relaxed like this forever now, can we? No, ma'am. I suppose we shall clear away all the nuisances in one stroke. Great idea. Meow. 
Excuse me, but have you seen the slightly odd, carefree girl with a baby on her back that was staying in this room? Oh, I know who you mean. She and the baby went out for a walk a little while ago. A walk? Where? Don't know. That idiot. I thought I made it clear that she shouldn't leave here. Maybe she's the type who needs everything spelled out. Like the pinwheel, little Mommy Toto? It's pretty. We have something in common. We appreciate things of beauty and have good taste. When you grow up, maybe you'll be a great artist or a performer. Or be an educated scholar of some type. Whatever you want to become is fine with me. I wouldn't stop you from being what you want to be. Thank you so much, Mom! I know I'll make you really proud one day. But you know, Mommy Toto, someday you're going to meet a young woman you'll want as your girlfriend. Bring her to me immediately, and I'll be the judge of whether or not she's right for you. You're the most important thing in the world to me, Mother. I don't need another woman in my life. I'll never marry. No, no, you can't do that, my darling son. I want you to have a long, cozy marriage. I want you to live as husband and wife, just the two of you. Without your old mother puttering around, I won't put a damper on your life. Families are supposed to be together. I'll always take care of you. I'm so happy you bring tears to my eyes. Oh... My vision is growing dim. I think the time has come for your poor old mother, Mommy Toto. No, Mom. Death comes to us all, my darling Mommy Toto. Stay by my side now and hold my hand. I don't wish to die alone. Thank you for raising me, Mother. Thank you for all the sacrifices you've made. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I was blessed to be given such a wonderful boy as you, my Mommy Toto. Oh, Mother, no! Oh, oh. Sounds so nice. Right, Mommy Toto? Oh, you fell asleep. The sun is shining. La 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 la. Young Tomachio! Huh? Tomachio, thank God you're all right. Just who are you? Who are you? Tomachio? Huh? He's all right. The baby is unharmed. Uh, who are you? What is this? Miss, that baby is young Tomachio. Tomachio? What do you mean? His name's Mommy Toto. Please, miss, return him to me, I beg you. Uh, and who are you? This woman happens to be the boy's mother. Mother? Um, what, are you both crazy? Is there something wrong with you? <sighs> this boy, the child's mother is... Me, see? <gasps> <gasps> Damn you, Benyosuke. You botched the job. 
This is why you're a moron. Your wife there knows all about it. So why don't you ask her, old man? Um, ask her? But why? You ask why? You really are a clueless wonder, aren't you? It's not surprising your conniving wife plays you for a fool all the time. If your mistress bears your heir, the wife forces the servant to kidnap it. She toyed with the life of your son in order to safeguard her comfy lifestyle. She's a bitch. What a sorry excuse of a wife and a disgrace to women everywhere! What? Does she speak the truth? Woman, why do you keep silent? The fact that Mommy Tato here is alive and well is evidence enough, wouldn't you say? Curse your face! I never want to see it again! So what are you doing? What's wrong? You don't seem very happy, Meow. You know, I've been getting the urge lately to settle down and leave the open road behind for good. I could set up a house, raise a family, plant a vegetable garden, and experience those simple pleasures life would offer but me. But you need to have a man to settle down with first, especially if you expect to have kids. And in your case, the odds of finding a man are very low indeed. So take my advice. If I were you, I'd wise up and rethink everything realistically. Don't set your sights quite so high. That you are! I'm really pissed off now! I'm not walking with you ever again! Go wherever the hell you want by yourself, you dregs of a woman, because I don't care! Uh, hey! Wait! Say something! Hey!
again. Are you all right? Ah, oh, yes. You have my gratitude, miss. My name is Oharu. Thanks again. Don't mention it. Uh, oh. Your flowers, it's a shame what happened to them. Hmm. Ah, hmm. oh, Brother Kuma, I've been looking everywhere for that map, but I can't find it. Hachi, that's because you're not searching for it the right way. Quit whining. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't find what ain't there. Say, ah. Uh... Will you please take this seriously? If we find the map and bring it to the chief, he promises that it'll turn us both into full-fledged bandits. I know, and we're on the waiting list right now, huh? By the way, do you know what kind of map it is? The map? Well, um, uh... For crying out loud, just look for the thing. Yeah? Huh? Oh, crap. Somebody's coming. Hide. Yes, sir. We think she looks something like this. 
See if I understand you correctly. You're saying that after all the eating and drinking, you can't pay your bill. Correct, Master. For the time being, here are 30 mon. 
I'm sorry it isn't enough, but it's more than I normally carry. That pittance isn't worth discussing. I don't doubt it. All right, everyone, apologize. I'm very sorry, sir. We're, We're sorry. sorry! Ah, well, all the contrition in the world won't return the food and beverages consumed by you. How right you are, mister! That's true! There's just no point in crying over spilled sake, right? I am therefore requiring every one of you work off your debt. Mm. Ah. Ah. <coughs> I hate this. Something wasn't right when she stopped me in the street. I knew I had a bad feeling about it. Hey there! You have to work harder for me than that. Right. <laughs> You've got a real knack for this, young man. <sighs> My mom lays around in bed all the time, so ever since I was a little kid, she always made me do most of the kitchen work. I see. Huh? Damn it! What the hell's up with these stupid planks? They're slippery as eels! Huh? <gasps> up the mess. Take this. Here, it's for the photon room. Photon, photon. Huh? <laughs> Waitress, I've been waiting and waiting for my sake. Where is it? Don't uh, bitch to me. I'm only carrying stuff because I was told to carry stuff. Why don't you complain to somebody else? I'm a patron. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Forgive her. This girl is an inexperienced apprentice who still needs ample training. Here, sir. Please allow me to pour for you. <laughs> What's up with him? What are you talking about? The young master of that house. <gasps> mention a map this afternoon. As proof that he wanted to reform, Sanji was attempting to return the money that had been stolen from everyone by the gang. Then you mean that the map is a... It's a map showing the location of a box the bandits hid containing 1,000 ryo. How much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 1,000 ryo? Well, isn't that a terrible shame? It's not as though you're going to get it, you know. Yeah, I know, but I can dream. That money is useless to anyone unless we find the map. From what the bandits were saying, your boyfriend successfully hid it. Okay, where is it? Hmm. How can you be calm with that much money at stake? We're wasting time here. Some dope might stumble on the map. He might blow his nose with it and throw it away. Where's that rag you blew your nose on a while ago? Huh? <laughs> this? <laughs> Meow, where did you find it? 
Oh, just inside a pouch that was in the offering box along with the offering money. And coincidentally, Sanji was murdered near the shrine. offering box out of desperation as they chased him. Well then, everybody, shall we go find out for ourselves right now whether or not this really is the map that Sanji sacrificed his life for? Yeah, that's a great idea! <laughs> Leaving so soon? I realize samurai aren't patient, but you have plenty of work left to do. Father? Daughter! This is the samurai I told you about. The one who rescued me from the bandits today. What? You're the one? Huh? What's this? What's he talking about, huh? Oh, you gotta be kidding! Are you telling me Ohadu owes her life to Sister Ron? Hey, mister, don't you feel horrible about turning your daughter's protector into a lowly servant, don't you? I apologize for my inexcusable behavior toward you. That's more like it. You're grasping our situation. I know. I can offer you a very good position on my staff to work as a bodyguard for my restaurant. <coughs> It would be comparatively easier to pay off your debt that way than by doing servant duties. Father, please! That's no way to talk to the woman who saved the life of your precious Oharu. Miss, we're speaking of two different issues. Besides, my daughter's rescuer is this samurai. I owe you no debt of gratitude whatsoever. What is more, I must add 52 broken plates to the bill for your wild party and your clumsiness in the kitchen. keep sitting around here cooling our heels like this, those robbers will make off with the whole stash of money.
appreciation for what you've done. You have my sincerest gratitude. Thank you both. Oh. <laughs> really? It was nothing. Lady! As for you, this kind man has given you jobs, so try and make an honest living. Okay? Oh, oh. I turned over the stolen money from the map to a government official to be used for the town's benefit. That's good. I'm certain that if Sanji hadn't been killed, that's what he would have done. Now listen, treasure your parents, all right? Right! Because... Huh? Hey, wait, sis! Time to kill enemies! Will you wait off? My God, Ron, you're a cool we woman. How idiotic can they be? You gotta love them. Yeah, idiocy doesn't differ much. No fooling. Both of them are real dimwits. <laughs>
Well, I think it's awfully depressing for grown men to cry together in a group. Think so? <laughs> Miss Ron. Oh, no! Ocho? Miss Ron? <laughs> About those three loud, weeping guys over there. I don't know. If it's bothering you that much, ask them yourself. But they're crying so much, I don't dare ask them. It's just not appropriate. Here you are. Hey, sir, I have a question. Why do those men keep screaming and bawling their heads off like babies? Those guys? Their women ran out on them. That's why. <laughs> really? So you mean the women ran out on all three of them? Yeah. Y yeah. Uh, by the way, Miss Ron, about what I want to say. Huh? Um, who'd you say you were? I'd forgotten. As I was saying. Your name's is Sansa? Tonto Shiroxai. Oh, yeah. What I've been trying to tell you is that you're very beautiful. What? This humble artist was overwhelmed by your astonishing beauty the moment I laid eyes upon you. Huh? My spirit is forever restless, compelled to seek out art wherever it may be. It screams and begs to paint you. Uh -huh. Therefore, Miss Ron, I would really, really like you to pose for me for a beauty portrait. Will you agree to do it, please? What? The end result will be good, I swear. I will concentrate every shred of my talent and soul on capturing your exquisite beauty. I shall devote myself to creating an artistic masterpiece that will go down in history. No, thanks. It was? Now, hold on a second. Just a few minutes ago, you told me the same thing, and we were on our way to your place to start painting. So I'm still going to model for you, aren't I? No, I'll still paint you, dear. Don't fret. I'm going to begin your painting as soon as I'm finished with the likeness of Miss Ron. I don't get it. Why are you doing her picture first? Because even the most gifted artist suffers from the human condition. Therefore, it's simply human for a painter such as myself to want to paint a beautiful woman first. What do you mean? Don't you remember? You told me that I was beautiful as well. Yes, about that. It really is a delicate issue, but I think there's been a misunderstanding. Yeah. I do know for certain that I never mentioned a word about you becoming a model for any beauty boy. What are you telling me here? Merely the truth. Because I think this is all a misunderstanding that should be dispelled sooner or later. However, I happen to be painting a series of girls' facial expressions just for myself. I chose you because I was hoping you'd model one of them for me. <laughs> I finished painting most of them, but I desperately wanted the last expression for my collection. The happy-go-lucky look. Oh, you would not believe how difficult it is to find anyone with a face like that. And I was on the verge of calling it quits when I met you, Meow. Your face is exactly what I've been searching for. This is good. Everything is wonderful. No, it's not oh. wonderful. Don't you remember you said I was beautiful? No, oh, that, you see, is something I normally say to women. It's a habit of mine. And since you were so eager and didn't have any reservations, well, I thought to myself, what the heck? Oh, this isn't right! This isn't right! Oh, come on. Don't be that way. After all, I'm being honest with you, aren't I? Ah, yes, my mind feels unburdened now. And here's some advice. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. Really, you ought to be more careful about that. Hey! Don't ignore your own shortcomings and feel you can talk to me like that! Yeah, weren't you being too based? May I remind you that you thought I was a pervert, so why don't we just call it even, all right? What do you mean, so why don't we just call it even, all right? Oh, am I pissed off? <clears throat> Miss Ron, there must be some way to persuade you to reconsider. Know when to quit. <laughs> Very well, I'll retreat for today, then. But I warn you, I haven't given up yet. And yeah, I'm going to paint you first after all. That'll make you happy. <laughs> You know, Meow, this light makes you look lovely. I'd say even downright beautiful. Everything you say is for your own interest only. I won't trust you. Now, now, don't say that. I never lie to my own beauty-seeking heart. You probably have the potential to be lovely. It's just that your appearance reflects a strong, how shall I say, individualism. Beauty painting. Um, uh, okay, if you insist, I'll do what I can to create a somewhat beautiful picture. Somewhat? I'll do my best effort. Best effort, huh? Yes. Well, I'll give it a shot. Well, if your heart is set on it, feel free. Oh, my, really? That's great. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, time to eat. Hey, you're acting as if nothing happened. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, cool.
What about it, Master? No, please, put it back on. Make up your stupid mind already! I'm helping you out because you said you desperately need me for your picture! So far, you've only insulted me! How callous! I'm sorry. However, regardless of how hard I try, I'm still having the greatest difficulty getting inspired to do this portrait. Do you know that you're rude to me every time you open your mouth? It's just the way it comes out. But your request is a tall order to fill, too, you know. The facial expression of a happy-go-lucky beauty simply isn't coming across to me. You're the one who wants that! Hey, I have an idea. How about going with a very respectable happy-go-lucky only painting? Goodbye. No way! I'll be put out! Very put out! Your face is the one that I've been waiting for! No one can take your place, meow! That's the only thing I can say that's true. Uh, sit here! Don't be so impatient. Perhaps you're hungry. Would you like to take a short break? Come on, come on. I know what would be good. Some nice, tasty manju. It's really delicious. No, uh, you have not convinced me. Oh, it's not like that at all. You see? Manju. The restroom. What? I need to pee. Damn it, I should have borrowed some money from Meow for lodging as well. What a completely thoughtless girl she is. I only needed enough to get a bed for the night. Oh, well. I think I saw an abandoned temple around here somewhere. Ah! Hmm? Stupid bitch, you won't get away! Hey, stop, goddammit! Uh, Lord Samurai, please help me! Well, well, hello there, sir. Sorry for disturbing you, mister. This won't take very long. Hey! You've caused a lot of trouble! Now come over here! No! Lord Samurai, I beg you, save me from them, please. What were you? I won't give her to you. Get lost. What? How dare you? A woman? A woman? <laughs> you're a mere female. Don't behave as if you're mighty. Get her. Didn't you hear me? I told you to get lost. <laughs> You got a big mouth on you for a woman. I get the impression you want to be hurt. Get her, fellas! You'll, you'll pay for this! Miss, thank you so very much. You saved me, you know. Uh, by the way, my name is Omeo. May I ask what yours is? Sorry, but I've long forgotten what my name is. Huh? Uh, uh... Oh, Mio? Uh, um, yes. Oh? I'll get some directions from them, huh? Hmm? I can never imagine it going this well. Yes, but the finishing touch remains to be added yet. I trust no details have been overlooked. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Everything's going quite smoothly. Oh, guests? First rate, all the way. <laughs> when we show them a picture, you should see their excitement. Luring customers in with those sample renderings of women that they make bids on accordingly is brilliant, Big Brother. You never fail to impress me. <laughs> and after we finish the bidding tomorrow, we'll pack up and find ourselves another town. We shouldn't stick around here once we've gotten what we came for. You know, those sculptors and painters we hire do pretty decent work for the indecent pittance we give them, especially when you consider the real fortune they rake in for us. Talk about a sweet profit. <laughs> This is bad news. Oh, there you are. Hey, Meow. Here, over here. That's good. I was no, worried that you'd left. Wait, what? What a relief. I was worried you'd gone. We're actually not allowed to be in this area. What's the matter? Hey. Hmm? 
Nah, forget it. All the man does is groan. He makes no progress whatsoever. Hmm. Hey, wake up! Hey, wait! Huh? Uh. How could you both leave without saying farewell to me? That's rather unfriendly. I'm imploring you. Please, Miss Ron, let me paint your portrait. No, I believe I'll refrain. You have plenty of other models to work with. But I've fallen for you all over again. Miss Ron, I'm begging. Why don't you stay behind and have him paint you? Yeah, come on. What about letting him do your happy-go-lucky expression now? No, uh, I'm anxious to paint her also, but uh, to my deepest regret, my confounded talent just can't catch up to her face. However, you, Miss Ron, I'm confident I can create a flawless beauty portrait of you. I may have lost my publisher, but I have the talent and the tools, so I'm sure I can make a go of it some way. Please, Miss Ron. You're a very persistent man. I don't care what you call me. My spirit is forever restless, compelled to seek out art wherever it may be. I know it screams and begs to paint you. So you've said, but I can't, really. There's nothing to be concerned about. Just say you'll do it. Hmm. Well, I'm someone who can completely understand how a spirit that's forever restless and compelled to seek out art wherever it may be would be totally infatuated with timeless beauty such as mine, but still. What? Does that mean that you'll pose? Well, when you're that insistent, any woman will cave in. Great! Huh? Excellent! Uh, yes! Wait! You're truly beautiful, please. There's no need to be so shy. My spirit is forever restless. I fail to seek out art wherever it may be. Now it screams and begs to paint you. Therefore, I would very much like to pose for me while I read your portrait. <laughs> and you may rest assured this that the is rich. It seems you blew your, blue your big opportunity of becoming a model. Your beauty is inexcusable. Utterly inexcusable. Money? 
Um, yeah, I've got some money. Spectacular. Come in and join me for a drink. Hey, now wait a minute. Great. 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 What's that? A master painter. I am Tonto. Shut up, sign, miss. Yeah, and this man's an artist who wants to paint a picture of Why me. Why don't we talk about it inside? Good idea. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Where are you going? Aren't we going to do a painting of me now? Oh, I almost forgot. But we should strengthen ourselves for the work ahead by having something to eat. Oh, hurry. Uh, oh, poop! Hey, mister, another bottle of sake. Coming right up. <laughs> by the way, Meow, why is this guy here? <laughs> Ron, this gentleman wants me to model for his painting, which will be a work of art. How very unusual meeting a female samurai. What is your name again? Ron, is it? Yeah. Miss Ron, the truth is... <laughs> What's up with them? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea what their troubles are. They've been blubbering like that off and on. <laughs> I think it's awfully depressing for grown men to cry together in a group. Think so? Uh, Miss Ron... Oh, no! Ocho? Miss Ron... <laughs> Those three loud weeping guys over there. I don't know. If it's bothering you that much, ask them yourself. But they're crying so much, I don't dare ask them. It's just not appropriate. Here you are. Hey, sir, I have a question. Why do those men keep screaming and bawling their heads off like babies? Those guys? Their women ran out on them. That's why. <laughs> really? So you mean the women ran out on all three of them? Yeah. Y yeah. Uh, by the way, Miss Ron, about what I want to say... Um, who'd you say you were? I'd forgotten. As I was saying. Your name's is Sunsai? Tonto Shiroksai! Oh, yeah. What I've been trying to tell you is that you're very beautiful. What? This humble artist was overwhelmed by your astonishing beauty the moment I laid eyes upon you. Huh? My spirit is forever restless, compelled to seek out art wherever it may be. It screams and begs to paint you. Uh -huh. Therefore, Miss Ron, I would really, really like you to pose for me for a beauty portrait. Will you agree to do it, please? What? The end result will be good, I swear. I will concentrate every shred of my talent and soul on capturing your exquisite beauty. I shall devote myself to creating an artistic masterpiece that will go down in history. No, thanks. The what? Now, hold on a second. Just a few minutes ago, you told me the same thing. If we were on our way to your place to start painting. So I'm still going to model for you, aren't I? No, I'll still paint you, dear. Don't fret. I'm going to begin your painting as soon as I'm finished with the likeness of Miss Ron. I don't get it. Why are you doing her picture first? Because even the most gifted artist suffers from the human condition. Therefore, it's simply human for a painter such as myself to want to paint a beautiful woman first. What do you mean? Don't you remember? You told me that I was beautiful as well. Yes, about that. It really is a delicate issue, but I think there's been a misunderstanding. Yeah. I do know for certain that I never mentioned a word about you becoming a model for any beauty portrait. Uh, uh, what are you telling me here? Merely the truth. Because I think this is all a misunderstanding that should be dispelled sooner or later. However, I happen to be painting a series of girls' facial expressions just for myself. I chose you because I was hoping you'd model one of them for me. <laughs> I finished painting most of them, but I desperately wanted the last expression for my collection. That happy-go-lucky look. Oh, you would not believe how difficult it is to find anyone with a face like that. And I was on the verge of calling it quits when I met you, Meow. Your face is exactly what I've been searching for. This is good. Everything is wonderful. No, it's not <laughs> wonderful. Don't you remember you said I was beautiful? No, oh, that, you see, is something I normally say to women. It's a habit of mine. And since you were so eager and didn't have any reservations, well, I thought to myself, what the heck? This isn't right! This isn't right! Oh, come on. Don't be that way. After all, I'm being honest with you, aren't I? Ah, uh, yes, my mind feels unburdened now. And here's some advice. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. Really, you ought to be more careful about that. Hey! Don't ignore your own shortcomings, I feel You can talk to me like that! Yeah, aren't you being two-faced? May I remind you that you thought I was a pervert? So why don't we just call it even, all right? What do you mean, so why don't we just call it even, all right? Oh, am I pissed off? <laughs> Miss Ron, there must be some way to persuade you to reconsider. No when to quit. <laughs> Very well, I'll retreat for today, then. But I warn you, I haven't given up yet. And meow, I'm going to paint you first after all. That'll make you happy. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you know, Meow, this light makes you look lovely. I'd say even downright beautiful. Everything you say is for your own interest only. I won't trust you. Now, now, don't say that. I never lie to my own beauty-seeking heart. You probably have the potential to be lovely. It's just that your appearance reflects a strong, how shall I say, individualism. 
beauty painting. Yeah, uh, okay, if you insist, I'll do what I can to create a somewhat beautiful picture. Somewhat? I'll do my best effort. Best effort, huh? Yes. Well, I'll give it a shot. Well, if your heart is set on it, feel free. Oh, my, really? That's great. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, time to eat. Hey, you're acting as if nothing happened. Oh, no. Directions from them. Huh? Hmm? 
I could never imagine it going this well. Yes, but the finishing touch remains to be added yet. I trust no details have been overlooked. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Everything's going quite smoothly. Oh, guests? First rate all the way. <laughs> when we show them a picture, you should see their excitement. Luring customers in with those sample renderings of women that they make bids on accordingly is brilliant, big brother. You never fail to impress me. <laughs> And after we finish the bidding tomorrow, we'll pack up and find ourselves another town. We shouldn't stick around here once we've gotten what we came for. You know, those sculptors and painters we hire do pretty decent work for the indecent pittance we give them, especially when you consider the real fortune they rake in for us. Talk about a sweet profit. <laughs> this is bad news. Oh, there you are. Hey, meow. Here, over here. <laughs> so easy. Thugs like you feeding off the weak are the worst kind of scum who crawl the earth, and I despise your rancid breed. I, Meow, share the exact same opinion. Say your prayers, because we're going to teach you a tough lesson. <laughs> My, aren't you courageous? Particularly impressive for ladies. Men, kill them now! <laughs> Oh, 
and compelled to seek out art wherever it may be would be totally infatuated with timeless beauty such as mine, but still. What? Does that mean that you'll pose? Well, when you're that insistent, any woman will cave in. Great! Huh? Excellent! Uh, yes, wait! You're truly beautiful, please. There's no need to be so shy. My spirit is forever restless, compelled to seek out art wherever it may be. Now it screams and begs to paint you. Therefore, I would very much what like you to pose when I read your portrait, <laughs> and you may rest assured this that the is rich. It seems you blew your big opportunity of becoming a model. Your beauty is inexcusable. Utterly inexcusable. <laughs> That's weird. This time of year really isn't the season for flying kites. What kind of kook would be out here flying?
Lightning is what electricity's named after it's born to its cloud parents in heaven. Mm, um, so what you're saying is that cloud babies are electricity, but the kitty's name is Lightning, right? No, that's not what I meant at all. It wasn't? Hmm. All right, now pay attention. I'll give you an example. Everyone knows that rivers flow down from high places to low, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, inside a cloud, it's the same kind of thing. A similar event happens. The same event happens in a cloud? Hey, river in the clouds, right? I get it, the story of a princess and a lord who met once a year on the sides of the Milky Way, huh, huh? Oh, that's just a myth. It's just a myth, really? To sum it all up, the thing called electricity also flows from areas of high power to areas of low power. The end result is what we refer to as a lightning bolt. Understand? Oh, yep, now I get it, I see, I see. You should have said that from the beginning, Mr. Samurai. I'm not stupid, you know. Tell me more about your experiment. The extracted electricity from the lightning will travel down the string and be collected there inside the wooden box. What? You've got some electricity in this box? You see, the energy electricity holds is virtually unlimited. It can generate light that, in wind or rain, won't falter or dim. It can also relieve the pain and suffering of the ill and enable man to fly through the sky. Um, fly, huh? Well, that sounds fantastic and all, but there's nothing in here. It's impossible for one to see electricity with merely the eye. However, I do have an extraordinary globe which came from a foreign country. You rub it, oh. like so. Huh. Here. Oh, oh my! <laughs> what do you think? It, it's like a warm tingle surging to the very core of my being. <laughs> that is the power of electricity. This power, you mean? That's right. I am certain that in time, electricity will enable us to span the oceans with ease, allowing travelers to cross to foreign lands. Wow, this is astounding. The world's becoming so advanced. <gasps> I'm telling you, sis, according to what the gentleman said, folks who are really sick will be healed in a flash when they're stung with electricity, and people are going to be able to fly like birds through the air. <laughs> Flying and crossing the oceans and going to foreign lands. Even I'm impressed this stuff's so amazing. That is impressive. Oh. Hey there, mister! This is no time for drinking! Haven't you heard what I said? The world's entered the age of electricity! I don't know a whit about electricity, but it's that kite man you're really interested in, am I right? <laughs> don't be silly! I couldn't just go and fall for a guy like that! Although, he does seem to have a bit of a thing for yours, truly. <laughs> yeah, the man suddenly grabbed my hand, set a ball in it, and asked, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I guess handsome guys are always bold like that, huh? huh? Oh, hey, sis, wait, I'm not finished telling you about it yet. Listening to your never-ending asinine rambling sours the sake. What do you mean, asinine? Well, you shouldn't toss back sake the way you do. You gotta look to the future with sober eyes. Anything funny on Dr. Genkai, and you'll pay for it. Who's Genkai? Get them! Ah! 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 Here! You'll have to cut me down first if you want to pass. Go on, I'm ready! Really? Stay out of this! Go home! I saw your friend here, this lady with Dr. Genkai at the seaside, and I, I just assumed... You mean the incredibly good-looking samurai flying a kite on the beach? His name's Dr. Genkai? Yes. Oh. I see. I wonder what kind of relationship this girl has with him. In any event, I still have the advantage because I am the more womanly of the two of us. Everything's going to be all right. Yep. When I saw you with him, I was thoroughly convinced that you must be a spy who the Kikuhimiya sent in order to deceive Dr. Genkai with feminine trickery. The Kikuhimiya? Maybe you should have examined this woman more closely. For feminine wiles, I'd hope they'd have chosen a girl who's better for the role. What? I know. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Hey! Yeah, she makes a valid point. Well, right. That does make more sense, doesn't it? What do you mean? Ha! Huh, how can I ever apologize for the terrible mistake and trouble we brought? My name is Mokichi, and I'm this girl's brother. Please forgive us for our indiscretion. I beg you. We're very sorry. 
As a token of our deep regret, we would like both of you to please accept our small but heartfelt banquet. Are you kidding? A banquet? Please help yourself. Um, uh, this is some banquet. Yes, it is small. I wasn't exaggerating, however. It truly is heartfelt. We're finding it hard to make ends meet, you see. Yeah, this place is a shack. I mean, um, well, what do you mean, then? Recently, the area's become infested with a group of pirates who call themselves the Masked Marauders. Masked Marauders? That's right. Because of them, every fisherman's boat in our village has been destroyed and our catches of fish raided. The filthy bastards have put us through living hell. Mm -hmm. Our only hope is for the doctor to stay on our side. Huh? What was that you just said about the doctor, huh? You see, with his electricity, we can supposedly build faster boats than we have now. So then, even if we were attacked by pirates, we could just outrun them. Leave it to me. I'll handle it. I'll head right over to Dr. Genkai and appeal to him on your behalf. After all, he and I are chummy. For me, I'm sure he'll do a teeny dee. We appreciate your help, but his research tends to cost an enormous amount of money. Money? Can't help you with money. I'm sorry. But... Go ahead. Well, the truth is we're taking a big risk this evening by shipping the silk maker's cargo after dark. You can't do your jobs as fishermen at this rate, so you're forced to earn a living doing shipping work? Yes. Why, that just sounds utterly inexcusable, right, sis? Yeah. But if everything goes according to plan on our job tonight, we'll make a substantial amount of money. If we make enough money this way, we'll be able to help fund Dr. Genkai's experiment. Uh-huh, uh-huh, makes sense. We, um, brought you here so we could apologize. But we have another reason. We also want to make a request. Okay, what's the request? Don't be shy. Come on, tell us. Then okay, I will. After witnessing your fighting abilities, we want you to be bodyguards for us. What? Please. Oh, is that all you wanted to ask? Huh? You want the two of us to safeguard your cargo from pirates, is that right? Are you saying you're going to take the job? Of course we will. Won't we, sis? No, thanks. Wh what? But why not? It's a bother. <laughs> hey, wait! What's with you? Can't you see that everyone here is begging and imploring us to help them? I'm amazed you would say something so cold. Where's your heart? Are you listening? You've drunk so much sake, the inside of your head is soggy. Oh, what do you think of that display of inhumanity? I feel ashamed to be associated with a woman. Don't you agree with that? Huh? I'm all the bodyguard you fishermen need, even without that frigid creature. Oh, if you yeah. say so. Dr. Genkai. I'm most eager for you to sign the contract soon. I am told that one or two hundred Rio isn't enough money to fund your experiment. It's my final offer. If you give us the rights to the electricity, then I will finance your experiments and your research. Doctor, you're too skilled to be wasted in a backwater town like this. We wish to create a demand for your electricity that spreads across all of Japan. If we sell at a high price, you will also benefit. If you sell it at a high price, then the villagers won't be able to afford it. In business, that is known as trade. Those who desire it can stimulate the economy by working and saving up their money to buy it. However, Dr. Genkai, perhaps you don't quite comprehend the potential and substantial value of your electricity here. It's only a small token of my friendship. I hope you will use it to your benefit. But I can't accept your gift. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I'll be back, Dr. Genkai. Don't you worry. Hmm. Scientists have such a superior attitude. Oh, yes, he may profess to have some higher humanitarian interest, but inside he has to want money as badly as anyone else, and I'm sure. <laughs> and electricity. How's it coming? Hmm? You know, if I were you, I would accept the Kikuhimiya's proposal. Huh? <laughs> I do believe you're not the type whose heart can be swayed like a tree in the wind, even by the temptation of money. Doctor, what do you say? Won't you take the lives of Mokichi and the others into consideration as well? Don't try to influence him just to win the bet! <laughs> Ow! You talk to the doctor first, you know! You want to fight? Take it outside! Honestly, I can't believe they're making bets with each other over which offer Dr. Genkai will take. Ridiculous. Hmm. 
I imagine it's rough. And which way did you wager in the bet? I have no interest in electricity. Huh? No, I walk on my own two feet and stop once in a while for good sake. <sighs> then after I rest, I resume walking. Isn't that a good way of living? If everyone believes that, then progress will leave our country in the past. Hmm. New inventions and technology are gaining headway in foreign lands. And apparently there are even books which describe in detail the anatomy and functions of the human body. I yearn to travel to these lands to acquire knowledge. Then, return with that knowledge to benefit the entire world. But such dreams require money. Oh, you need money to benefit the world, huh? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Boy, the worries of an acclaimed scientist sure are hefty ones to deal with. The world is going to become rather too convenient. Why are you having such a hard time dealing with the likes of Genkai? Genkai is a principled man and therefore stubborn. He's delaying because of the fishermen and taking his time agreeing to the deal. Scientists are an annoying lot. I'd like to end his complaining and gut him like a pig. But if we kill the fool, we won't have electricity. Unfortunately, we need him. By the way, my sources have informed me that tonight the fishermen will attempt to ship cargo for the silk maker. Yes, sir. They're obviously trying to help finance Genkai's experiments. They're resisting, being defiant. Damn, they're an irritating group. Maybe we'll dispose of them first. The ones our obstinate doctor holds most dear to him. seasick I got as a child. Oh. Ah, but I'm grown up now. Everything will be fine. I... Hey, ice-blooded woman! What are you doing here? Nobody wants to see your face! Oh, I'm here for this. Fresh-caught sashimi and a shot of sake. Ah! Mm. Sorry to break it to you, but the only bodyguard they need around here is... You changed your mind? Thank heaven! That's wonderful! What? Right! Now that we have you here, we'll have nothing to worry about. What a huge relief! Oh. We'll all be counting on you! What? In exchange, catch me a good one. At, At the, the very least! least. No. Possibly the best fish I've, I've ever heard tasted. Stories that samurai <laughs> don't eat raw fish, however. Whoever told you that nonsense? The sky's a tapestry of stars. The aroma of the sea, dining on sweet sashimi, the sound of the ocean. <laughs> ah, this is what life is all about. What else could anyone want? I feel so miserable. I guess I still get seasick. After all. Would you like a piece also? Huh? Oh. 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 Hey, oh, Did you simply let him go? Yes. The 
masked marauders are the Kikuhimia. Mm -hmm. It's completely useless, no matter how attractive you are. A woman like you who has nothing going on in her head is a lost cause. Look at this girl. She's letting feelings of rivalry take control of her. How pathetic. I'm in control. Hmm. Uh, point your nose somewhere else when you're huffing. Dr. Genkai should be okay for now. They can't kill him yet. Otherwise, they'll never be able to get their hands on his electricity. Thank you for finally making your decision on our proposal, Dr. Genkai. Without further ado, shall we complete the contract? If you will kindly sign or seal this with your blood, you can leave everything else up to me. No, your offer is very generous, but I came here in order to return this. I can find no reason to accept all this money from you. Oh, yes, my resolve did waver. It did, but I decided electricity should be used for the good of everyone. If I abandon the fishermen when they desperately need me more than ever, how can I hope to serve mankind? Yes, but I'm sure your experiments must be very costly. We both know the reality of simple fishermen raising that kind of money. Impossible. <laughs> Scientists were given brains to solve that type of dilemma. Doctor, give it up. Those fishermen for whom you carry such respect by now have met a watery fate at the bottom of the ocean. What? What do you mean by that remark? <laughs> huh? Well, this is what I mean. Doctor, you've been a lot of trouble. We should have done this to you from the start and saved ourselves the time and effort of dealing with you. Huh. Oh, don't worry. We're not about to rob you of your life, because if we did, there would be nothing left. But we're going to make you suffer. You can rely on that. Forgive my intrusion! Huh? Uh, rogues! Who the hell are you to call us rogues, you scummy pirate bastards? Who are you? It's too bad for you that we were hired to protect the fishermen and their cargo. What? If you're vicious in business, trade viciously. If you're a thief, then steal. Concentrate on one or the other or you won't do either well. That's right, if you're a fence sitter. <gasps> oh, are you all right, mister? And by the way, remember me? Oh, you're that pesky woman I met at the beach this morning. That's right, you do remember. I am Yao, the Iron Catfish. show you no mercy for interfering here. I am simply an enchanting nobody, that's all. If you can assure me that you will conduct your business without treading on the weak, I'll go on my way without incident. My, how very equitable of you. However, now that you know the identity of the masked marauders, I can't allow either of you to leave. Kill them! Don't let them out of here! What a damn nuisance. This could be so easy if you changed your ways. <laughs> Doctor, the clouds are gathering rather nicely, wouldn't you say? Indeed. It's coming! At last, we'll see electricity. Electricity, sis! Let's go watch! Come on! I'm not interested. Dr. Genkai! Dr. Genkai, electricity! Character. 
Her neck is as twisted as a pretzel, but her meddlesome nosiness is still functioning at full force. Among simpletons, she takes the title as champion of them all. Hey, folks, what's everybody looking at? What's going on, huh? Something happening? What is it? What, what, what? Excuse me, coming through. Hard case, sorry, don't need a push. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Because of you, my pain is gone. It's completely disappeared. I owe it all to your divine power, Master Rokan. Thank God! Thank God! Good. You did well. Because of your persistence and devotion to your training, my healing powers have embraced you. Continue to persevere diligently in your training. Yes, Master. Next! Yes. My pain and suffering have left as well. Thank you, Master. Now I have the strength to further my training. <laughs> Everyone, listen to me. A good number of you already know that the only mortal being able to channel the immeasurable power of God's will is the Master Rokkan. If you do as the Master instructs and follow his word, you will lead happy and fulfilled lives. Furthermore, if you dedicate yourselves to the training without neglecting your faith, the Master will use his divine power to heal you of your ills, just as he has done with these two. Now, believers among you, come with us to the Rokkan clan and be disciples to the training. Hear that? Divine power, she said. Did you see how he cured them? It's amazing. All of you! If you undergo and successfully complete the rigorous training with the Master, someday the heavenly forces will come to you as well. At that time, you yourselves will go on to save those who suffer. And as proof of your devotion to attain the goal of that day, you will renounce your money steeped in worldly desires by giving your wicked coins to us. This act will purify you heart and soul. Master! What is it? Master, please! I beg you to use your divine power to heal the neck of this undeserving meow! What a fool. To be honest, it's really giving me some trouble right now. And I'd really appreciate it if you could fix it with that divine power stuff of yours, Master Rokan. Master. Lady, the Master would like to help you, but didn't you pay attention to what I was saying? In order to heal your ills, you must first undergo the training. However, before you begin, you have to give us some money. Perfect. No problem. I happen to be carrying more than usual today. I'll do the training later, I promise. What? Is this your idea of a prank? Far from it. It may surprise you to find out that I've undergone training for the Iron Catness for years. I can do anything with training in the name, so don't worry. Just leave it to me. Please, Master, I'm begging you. Aren't you gonna help her? Yeah, don't be so cheap about it. Heal that young woman. Yeah, what's the big deal? If you could just make it feel a little better. Master Roka. She does appear to be suffering from an extremely dreadful condition. Please, can't you make an exception this one time, Master, and give her a special healing? Oh, very well. Really? But, Master, listen carefully to what I say. Since you have not yet undergone the training, Miss Meow, one time may not be enough to have a healing effect for you. I'll take whatever you've got. Just hurry up and act. Don't me. speak! You must remain silent! Wait, I'm not in pain. Hey, look, I'm fixed. He did it. The man healed me. This is amazing. He's the real thing. I don't know what to make of that lummox. Even the way her body is put together seems clumsy. Master. Oh, great, Master Rokan. I wish to become one of your faithful disciples and follow in your glorious footsteps, please. Uh, that's not necessary. Don't worry about the training. I I'm glad that you're all better, so goodbye. No, no, wait! I finally realized what my true mission in life is supposed to be! Yes! My reason for being! I found it right here! I'm home. Tell me, Miss Mia, what do your family and relatives do for a living? <laughs> Don't worry, sir! Alone am I in this hard world, traveling at the whim of the wind from journey to journey! A carefree spirit living day by day, but always searching! Oh, I was searching for something that eluded me, but now I know what that something is! I vow to become your disciple, trained to receive the divine power, and then someday I will be able to give of myself for the benefit of mankind. How wonderful this is! I commend you. I fail to recognize your way of life. It's free from the world of greed. Master, I implore you on her behalf. Please allow her to become a disciple. Please, sir. Please, she's got one. Just give her a chance. Please let her join. Really? Thank you, sir. Good for you, miss. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What a simpleton. It would be more suitable to change your name to Ninny the Nincompoop. Ninny. It's perfect, Ninny. Seems to me you don't have any love lost on the guy. Yep. No. That con man and his group of stooges drifted in here out of the blue and began sucking in gullible folks. He recruits them with a line of bull about gods and Buddha and divine power and crap. Look. Those guys dress like mountain priests. That's them. He calls the people he brings into his fold disciples and wheedles money out of them for their so-called training. He brainwashes them into thinking that giving their money to him will heal them and bring them happiness. Mm -hmm. They give so much cash for his training, some have lost their stores and have to borrow money. It's horrible. I hear that if they don't pay up, sometimes he won't let them go home until they do. You wouldn't believe the stories. Crap. Hmm? Oh, uh, um, I was talking to myself. Don't pay any attention to me. <gasps> no, great. I'm out of money again. Hear me, everyone. Money is the filth of the world. It implants the seeds of temptation and avarice in the hearts of men. You must not allow this evil, this destroyer of the soul, to seduce you. Find strength in the proof of your devotion to heaven's divine power. You will only draw closer to the glory of God by cleansing yourselves bodily and spiritually. Now, now is the time to be freed from the vile fetters of money. That is the true training. Hold out your money and offer it up as proof of your faith and conviction. The greater the amount, the closer God will come to you. Sir! Hmm? I have an offering to make, I feel. Kind of excited. I never thought money could buy happiness. I'm glad I brought this. Praise God. Money really should be used to assist those who are needy. It's remarkable. I never thought I could feel this good about giving away my cash. <sighs> oh. oh, Mr. Iske, your devotion to God is as splendid as always. You will go far in your training. Whoa! A mountain of pure gold. How many stacks of coins are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mr. Soemon of the Echigoya. Yes, sir. I'm afraid your training hasn't been going well lately, has it? It's falling short of expectation. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Master. You need not apologize to me. If I am not mistaken, you joined the discipleship and began the training in order to bring about a good marriage prospect to your only daughter. Is this correct? Yes, but Master, it's the best I can do right now. I'm confident I can bring in some more money from my business. Please be patient. Don't forsake me. You beg me to be patient while you continue to wear expensive, well-tailored clothing and you still own a large, profitable store? Please don't force me to sell it. It's a dear family business that I inherited from my ancestors and my servants. They'll lose their livelihoods as well. Why can't you understand that this is precisely the kind of greed-induced thinking that defies the very intentions of our Lord? Make amends, or a curse will fall upon your head. <laughs> Everyone, let us chant together with Mr. Soemon so that he may not be cursed. However, I cannot provide assurance that all our power is up to such a task, since you yourself gave into weakness and were grossly oh, negligent no. in your training. Help me, help me, please, Master. Everyone, let us pray. One thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, one million, ten million, one hundred million. Blockheaded imbecilic happy go lucky ninny, she's unbelievable! What in the world is that fool thinking causing me this much worry? Simply inexcusable! She's always entirely useless right when I need her the most! Huh? As the morning breaks, beautiful and bright, with a sunny world, my heart's feeling warm as well. Oh my, I'm feeling sunny. Hooray! If it isn't our very own Yao, sister, I was worried about you. Are you all right? Are you well? Sister Ron, greetings. I had a feeling I would find you in this type of establishment. Well, of course. I'm always in this type of place. But I'm telling you, I was really worried sick about you. I nearly gave up all hope of ever seeing you again. I'm so glad that I was patient. Got any money? Yes, I've got money. You have? Oh, am I happy? I planned to give it to the master. However, I held back some of it because I thought I might need it to salvage a spiritually collapsed friend, a mere shell of what once was a woman. That's wonderful. You truly have proven to be a useful girl. Oh, what a relief. This time I was scared half to death. <sighs> oh, dear Buddha, I pray you can find it within you to offer salvation to this freeloading vagabond. Oh. Sister, I am 
deeply bothered and saddened. If you continue with this way of life and your wicked, ungodly behavior, then you're going to surely suffer for it someday by bringing a grievous curse upon your head. But now there's hope. I can save you with my power. You can atone for your sins. It's not too late. Come and we will undergo the training together. As a matter of fact, why not begin training as soon as we can, starting tomorrow? We'll both go to the master and I can ask him to speak with you. Sister, you have nothing to worry about. They're all a group of good, decent people. They really are. Huh? When I'm around them, my heart inexplicably fills with warmth and a gentle feeling comes over me. Besides that, I have a new power to live and my life has purpose for once. So sister, trust me on this and let me introduce you to the master, all right? <laughs> hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? <gasps> oh, you poor thing. You've been enslaved by the greed of the world. Stay back. Don't step one inch closer. I swear you're always being suckered into something. You're a 100% nincompoop klutz moron. I'm sure you're upset, but it's all right. You're simply innocent. Ah, oh, poor, poor Ron. Your troubled soul will only have to wait a bit longer. Once you start training, your mind will be put to ease. Sister. What? Have you ever caught or eaten that mythical sake-indulging snake called the Uwabami? Okay, have you ever bullied or brought death to someone? Okay, then, have you ever heard of anyone in your family ancestry who'd be accused of committing such offenses? So, sister, it's sad to say, but I think your wanton passion for the demon brew sake is the curse of a snake. Stop it, meow. That's what I learned. They said things like that might happen. The sins of the ancestors are sometimes visited upon the descendants. So tell me. Yes. Do you really know what this wabami snake thing is all about, meow? It's supposed to be divine, um, retribution. Look at that, it's completely engulfed! Oh my god, then a curse really did befall Mr. Soymo. What? Explain what you mean by that. Uh, well, you know, that fire there. A curse, huh? Oh, whoa, that's a real inferno! They may as well give up. It's a lost cause. That's Mr. Solomon of the Echigoya, the cursed man! No, my baby! Oh, my little girl's trapped inside! What are you doing? Hey, you stop! Don't be a hero, Ron. Please come back. Minded man, but regrettably it wasn't the will of God or any other deity. It was strictly the will of my own brain. 
Hey guys, don't forget about me and my star performance. Eve, you were brilliant as usual. You and Isuke are superb actors. You always make those naive bumpkins fall for it. And speaking of him, where is Isuke? He's gone out to inflict divine wrath. He is late. Echigoya? Indeed. <laughs> the poor guy. Yes, but it's a great method for throwing the other rich dotes into a state of fear which makes them suppliers with more and more money. We simply need to attract well-heeled disciples into our congregation. A flock full of wealthy believers is guaranteed to bring their money pouring in. And in short time, this mound will grow into a mountain. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, by the way, that brat at the roadside who became a disciple, how's she doing? Oh, forget about her. We have no use for that hard-up loser. We'll just toss her out on some pretext. I thought she was up to something in the beginning when she claimed that you healed her, but she turned out to be nothing more than an ordinary nincompoop. Huh? Ah! Who the hell are you calling a nincompoop? But meow, you are a nincompoop. What's with you? Mm. The brat Jane. You were careless, were you? After a relatively light pummeling, this man was so cooperative, he told me all about what you're up to. A good henchman like this is hard to find. Just who the devil are you? Oh, who am I? No one in particular, only a beautiful wandering woman who happens to despise the very ground that detestable mortal human scum like you walk upon. You're so far beneath God, you're inferior to lowly maggots. What? Hey, I've got more reason to be angry than you! you really got some nerve trying to deceive a person with a heart as lovely and pure as mine. I'm very pissed off, preaching about stuff that folks want to believe in, like God, Buddha, and divine will, so you can get to them through their weak points and rob them blind. You'll even burn their homes to frighten them. How much misery will it take to satisfy you, you sick bastards? Ugh, oh, bastards, why you? Ha! Prepare yourselves. I, Lady Meow of the Iron Cat Fist, will never forgive villains such as you. Take this. <laughs> Returned to my senses, thanks to the two of you. You've also saved my daughter's life. I can do nothing that is sufficient to express my complete gratitude. Think nothing of it, Mr. Soemon. I realize it'll be difficult for a while, but devote yourself to your business once again. Yes, but... I feel sort of lost without direction now that the two of you are going. There's no one to depend on anymore for wisdom, guidance, and divine power. Come on, guys. Don't tell me you still want to live like that. Huh? First off, it's a mistake to live dependent on the support or power of someone unless you're a kid. Learn to rely on yourselves and draw on your own inner strength because that's your real power. Oh! Huh? What? Three hey, words! Whoa. What an amazing philosophy! To live one's life completely dependent upon one's own strength. Oh, Lady Samurai, you've opened my eyes to the truth. You're entirely right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, oh, what a fresh perspective. A bold, brave new outlook. Hey! Lady hey. Samurai, I beg you, please find it in your heart to lead us and make us your disciples. Please! What? Please, Master. Master? Stop this nonsense and quit that master business. Oh. You haven't returned to your sense at all. Please don't turn your back on us. We're unworthy, but we'll learn from you. Wait! Master! master. 
on yourself. It's easy to fool a fool. Um, wait a sec. Then that would mean that I too am dense for joining their group and nearly falling for their deception. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'm dense. yourself sure isn't killed very easily but sis if you're so invincible why are you on the verge of death i haven't eaten in 10 days what the you're in a row dying because your belly is empty uh, i'm just resting for a bit you're resting you call lying like that passed out in the dirt resting pathetic <laughs> yep you run are wretched what a sorry state for a full-grown woman to be in She's grown into a beautiful woman. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's no doubt. 
You know what happened to May? According to rumor, she's become filthy rich in that town. I'm positive she'll put us up for one night. Once I find her, I'll introduce her to you, okay? Oh, I'm so excited, I can hardly wait. You know what else? I made a huge snowman with May. Unfortunately, we realized that the head was too heavy for us to put on top of the body, so in the end, he became a resting snowman lying down. Oh yeah, you'll like this one. It happened when we were three or four years old. One day, we were play training by trying to jump from tree to tree and walk across the top of water. When we tried to walk on fire, May's mom saw us and came running. I thought she'd have a heart attack. Oh, we always got scolded together. But when I think about it now, it's no wonder. How did we grow up without injury? May's father was a shop bean rice cake vendor, but the man was so stingy that even though I was over at their home nearly every day, that miser only fed me once. Only once. Still, it was a delicious rice cake, the best I ever had. I'd like to taste one again. I haven't thought about May's parents in a while. Oh, that reminds me. Her father was sick with a cold when I left to see the world. He wouldn't stop coughing, and May and her mother were worried so... Yeah. Hmm? Be quiet. I'm sorry, how's this better? Now, where was I? Oh, right, I remember. At the time, I gave May the money I had originally saved to use for my journey. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's embarrassing how little the amount was. But back then, I seriously thought it would afford a doctor for her father. Uh, I hope it helped out at least a little bit. Once I see May again, I can probably get her to repay that money. Oh, no, no, I mean, it's not like I want to see her just because I want my money back. But May made a promise to me that she'd return it one day. May must have worked terribly hard to become as rich as I hear she is now. <laughs> mm, that's funny. When I think about that, I look forward to her repaying the loan. You know what I mean? Sis? Do you know what shopping are? No? Well then, I'll tell you what they are. Shopping are burnt and flat and... When you open them... When you open them, what? This! Hurry, hurry! <laughs> We're here! This is where she lives! I'll finally see May! Some drunkard? No. Huh? Come on, sis, hey. let's go. Meow. Oh. Why don't we just rest today and tomorrow we can find your bosom buddy? Huh? Tell me the name of your store, or I can't go see it, May. I was trying. 
Well, if it isn't the owner of the Deji Maya, lovely weather, isn't it? Uh, yes. The Deji Maya, huh? Wow, you really are remarkable, May. That's impressive. <laughs> Shame that I couldn't provide something better on short notice. Oh, you haven't touched your food. Perhaps you're not accustomed to this dish. If you like, I'll have bean leaves or dried sardine prepared for you. I want bean leaves. Oh. <laughs> Ignore her. Oh, sis, you're such a kidder. What a sense of humor you've got. <laughs> we were waiting on you. I thought we'd have supper together, May. In that case, please start. Eat all you want. Miss Ron, I understand you enjoy sake, right? Meow told me all about you. Help yourself, there's plenty on hand. Thanks, but I'll pour my own, I prefer to. I see. <laughs> is this place your own? Blurting out questions like that is rude. Are you joking? I elevate rudeness to an art form. Oh. It's okay, Meow. Yes, I own the business. It began from nothing and grew into a thriving concern. I told you, sis, May is incredible. She's good-looking, smart, and owns a big store here. Even though she's young, I'm totally impressed. And she fights. Do you still train in martial arts, May? She was astonishing at martial arts. So fast, as good as I am, I always lost and she won. Meow, after all these years, you haven't changed a bit. You're the same girl you were. It's funny, you make me feel envious. Huh? <laughs> Would you excuse me, please? You want to know something, sis? I feel ashamed of myself. May's working hard to make a successful living while I do nothing with my life except waste it away. Gee, I wonder where May went. She left here a long time ago. <sighs> Come on, Meow, let's go. Go? What for? I get the feeling it would be better if we did. Why? I'm sorry about that. It's been hectic. I've instructed the help on how to perform the work, but they're incapable of handling it on their own. Oh, hey, how's your father doing, May? He's still making the shopping rice He's cakes? dead. Oh. That illness he suffered from took his life. It happened right after you had gone away in search of adventure. Mom worked her fingers to the bone and died also two years later. I didn't know. Sorry. May I never, I never heard a word. Meow, don't worry. I've brought the item. Leave. Huh? When you left to go see the world, you lent what money you had to me. Don't you recall? How careless you are. Now wait a minute, I only gave you the odd spending cash from a piggy bank, not a small fortune. I won't be in anyone's debt, so I'm repaying you with interest. Please accept it. Stop! I'm not here for your money! We'll have to conclude our visit now. I have an early morning tomorrow. Oh, yes. You can't unwind after a trip in a place like this, so I booked a room for you. I'll have one of my workers take you there. Huh? What the? Really, it's nothing. Nothing? But it sounds like a commotion out there. <laughs> Probably a drug, the type that steals humanity from its users. 
I'll wager there's a stockpile of it inside that storehouse. May, is that true? You dare ask why? Meow, you have no idea how lucky you are to be utterly carefree. Do you know what's absolutely imperative for living well? Money, to be sure. Dad died because we couldn't afford a doctor for him. Mother died by overworking. Poverty is to blame for everything. If we only had money, they would still be alive. When you're in need, people, even total strangers, offer to help out. But when it comes right down to it, they never do. And you, you're no different. What were you doing while I was suffering? You were off on some devil-may-care journey pursuing some dream. Everything is about money. Take a look around at my house. Do you have any clue how hard I worked? I finally reached this point, finally. No one is going to interfere. Let's get out of here, sis. I don't want to be here any longer. It doesn't look like it's going to be that easy, Meow. Huh? Now that you know what I do, I can't very well let you leave from here with that knowledge. Sorry. May! them off. And that silly mistake will cost you your life. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't let you live. Don't take it personally, Meow. You shouldn't have been so insistent about coming to visit me here. You sadden me, May. <laughs>
out on my stupid journey. At least, at least if I'd come sooner. You know, Meow, you came just in time. Sunny and blue, and that makes my heart sunny too. Look! We've come to a park in the road. Hmm. Okay, sis, you pick this time. Martha, please! Watch out! Coming through! Ah. Let's go. This way. Disgraceful! She smells sake and loses her mind. and give the colossal elephant. That's what I said, elephant. The very beast of noble lineage which the King of Siam gave to the Shogunate. I present to you the elephant Taromaru. It's an elephant, an elephant. Meow, are you looking? Wow, it's the real thing. Look how big it is. Sis. <gasps> the nose is so long, those huge ears. Oh, listen to it, meow. An elephant can shout. Holy meow, will you just look at the size of it? the king of Siam gave to the shogunate. Okay, if you know how great this is, why not show a little more enthusiasm for it? Otherwise, you're no fun to go with. Please don't be offended. It isn't like you to have so much fun, that's all. Ooh. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy the show? <laughs> but sadly, it's deemed that all good things come to an end. What? And that time is now upon us, dear guests. Folks, the theater must be completely empty for the next audience. So please exit in an orderly fashion. Huh? Yes, that's the reaction I love. Make the memory of this moment last forever. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Elephant souvenirs, this way. Get your elephants and they hear it, Monchu, too. A pencil container and elephant couldn't break. Merchandising trade for you, they don't waste an opportunity to push their wares. Hey, Meow, they have elephant manju. I want to buy some. And a pencil box, too. Come on, give me some money. <sighs> don't you think you got carried away, sis? What are we going to do with all this manju? Don't worry, I can eat it all. <sighs> What's with her? I thought her only weakness was sake. But she's gaga for elephants too? I'm shocked! Whatever, fine. If that's what you happen to like and it gets you through the day, who cares? However, I'm the one who always gets stuck with the check for all your food, your sake, and your party. Shut up, will you? Why don't you have some? I'm happy to share with you. Here. Oh, I'll have as many as I want! Ow! Oh, I'm lost with my money, so they're mine! It's a fight! It's a fight! around with me, lady! You're the one who's messing around. Now stop avoiding the real matter at hand. I'm free to walk as I damn well please. This road belongs to everyone. You got a problem with that? That's fart logic. It's crap. You walk down the road, you stumble into an old woman, she falls. You help her up and apologize. That's the way a civilized human behaves. What? How dare this woman speak to me like that? Excuse me. Uh. I'm sorry. Look at that! What's going on? Is it some kind of show? Wow, that girl is huge! She's gigantic! Who do you think she is, sis? She's a big woman, of course. I know she's a big woman. What I meant was, what is a large woman like her doing here in the town? Well, you won't find the answer by asking me. I wouldn't know. This could be a place with some extremely large residents. <sighs> what is it with this woman? The way she goes bananas over an elephant is simply beyond all belief. But when it comes to a girl as big as a barn, she really couldn't care less. Pardon me, sir. 
Would you happen to know by chance who that incredibly huge woman with a bright yellow hat over there might be? Yeah, that blonde girl right there is demanding an apology from Okuma for knocking over that old woman who fell down in the road. Aha, uh -huh. I assume Okuma is the guy with the red nose? That's right. Huh. Who do you think you are? Just because you're big doesn't mean you can act big, you idiot! Yes, Eagle Eyes, you can see I'm big. It probably hasn't escaped you that I'm tall, too. But my size has nothing to do with anything. Apologize to the old woman. Why, you lousy, I know what you're doing. You're trying to embarrass me. Embarrass you? What do you mean? I only expect you to observe the code and duty of a samurai, so go on and apologize. What was that? You believe I'm a samurai, really? <laughs> oh, brother, that's hilarious! <laughs> Listen, my name's Daigoro Okuma. I don't know about your crap logic or samurai tradition, but I know your high and mighty attitude stinks! Yeah! What's so great about the samurai? The samurai around here are horrible! Sis, 
you called? Shh. What do we do with that behemoth? Step up. You mean Sue? Shh. Yes, I mean her. Do something. Why me? You're the one who should do something. She's tagging along after you because she wants to be your apprentice. I never made her an apprentice. <laughs> At your service. She seems to believe she's your apprentice. But you aren't the one facing trouble here. Just how the heck am I going to support another pig of an eater and drinker like you? Tell me, how? Thanks for all your trouble. There's not a shred of feeling in that. Huh. We're going to run for it. Huh? Hey, wait! Oh! <laughs> Follow the leader! It's part of training! Wait, here I come! Hey, 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 sis, what's with you all of a sudden? Are you sure about this? Do we really want to ditch that blonde lady? Or well, would you rather travel with that hunk on our heels for the rest of our lives, meow? That's a point well taken, but if we abandon her like a babe in the wilderness, how will she feed herself? Why don't you stay behind and take care of that girl if you're so darn worried? Sorry, I'm not going to do that either. You better quit your damn griping then and keep up the pace. Yeah, but still, I feel kind of bad for leaving her like that. Oh, oh what's the matter now? What are you caterwauling about? sake bill if you hadn't shown up. Ah! Who do you think gets to blame for all of this? Yeah, that blonde certainly has caused her own weight and trouble, wouldn't you say? <laughs> this is always happening. The sake swilling woman is sponging off me again. Huh? Oh, never mind. Hey, bring some sweet sake and dango, will ya? What happened to Sue? Did you finally lose her somewhere? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I shook her off eventually. First, I veered from the road and took a shortcut over the hills while zigzagging back and forth. After that, I combed the countryside searching for you! Good job, well done. Way to go, Meow. Huh, I thank you for that. However, I know the only thing you're happy to see is my wallet. I'm not happy, though, about what I had to put that poor girl through. But it was all for the best, right? <laughs> hey, mister, bring another sake! Uh, and hey, where's my sweet sake and dango? Okay, 
I'll do it soon. Huh? Oh! Miss Ron, you will, really? You have now graduated. Huh? Meow, paper and ink. Huh? Fine. This will do the trick. Please take person, please. Station? This is for you. It's a reference letter. Show it to anyone and you'll be given respectable work. Oh, thank you so much! This is wonderful! A diploma! Now I can be a samurai! Thank you for everything! See you later, Gator! Goodbye, ladies! Become a good samurai, you hear? I will! Boy, I've got to hand it to you. Sometimes you have a real flair for things, sis. Well, if that's what you believe, that's fine with me then. What? In that so-called reference letter, I wrote, This girl is a runaway. Please take her to the police. No, but, but why? Why would you deliberately trick her like that? Ron, that wasn't nice of you. It's better than having her become a samurai. Damnable Satan have recruited an incredibly powerful warrior. Ladies, we depend upon you to help vanquish our enemy. Just leave it to us. With Lady Ron and me on your side, the strongest men are mere chicken feet. Have no worries. Ha <laughs> ha, fine. That's what I want to hear. We'll clobber the guy, right, sis? Wait a minute. You mean we're working as backup for the Yakuza? Of course. Don't of course me. Of all the low, pathetic things to do, why do I have to help out the Yakuza? <laughs> I'll tell you. <sighs> you and Sue drank and ate up a storm, if you'll recall. Aside from that, I had to pay twice the price for her lodging accommodations alone. If we don't earn money, we'll not only have to go without sake, but we'll shrivel to dust. Oh, all right then. Boss, they're here! The Satan are here!
you running off to, Miss Ron? Come back, will you stop? <laughs> Aha, Shuriken, that is a ninja trick. You really think you're a samurai? You're nothing but a coward! <laughs> I challenge you fair and square. Understand that now. Go back home. That's big of you. I do understand that well. I'll go back to my country. You know, I feel sort of sorry for her. How about you? Meow, don't even think about it. We can't risk what's left of our lives to travel with that girl. No, I agree with you. Don't worry. I'm not suggesting we do that. Ladies! Oh. When I return to my country, I promise to continue my training there. I'll get better, and when I do, I'll be The day is warm and sunny, the sky is lovely and blue. When the day is as pretty as this one, it makes my heart sunny too. This is definitely the type of town you see in front of the Sanko Temple. It's bustling around here. Oh, check out that entrance. Very impressive. Since I'm here, I think I ought to stop in and give a clap at the temple. Player of our father, stop and fight us hmm? fairly. What's this? Somebody's trying to pick a fight here? I, I never slew anyone. You've got me confused with somebody. Cowardly liar. It's a vengeance killing. Oh, boy, what luck. I've never seen a vengeance killing before. This will be entertaining. How exciting. Wait a minute now. Will you listen to me? I haven't done anything to deserve your vengeance. You got the wrong guy, I swear to you. You're simply trying to trick us because you don't think we're old enough to know better. How offensive. Come on, fight us fair and square. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what a brave sister and brother they are. By comparison, that samurai's just a spineless idiot. I will champion their good cause because I, Meow of the Iron Catfish, shall serve as backup to shine on the scene. Oh, but I don't know the correct etiquette. How do I go about acting as somebody's backup? Um, is there an actual method? Excuse me, can you help answer something? Is it okay for a fighter to suddenly burst in on a challenge if she's the backup? Huh? <laughs> wait! Wait! Huh? Please stop and hear what I have to say. I declare on behalf of justice that I will serve as backup for these two siblings. Oh, but they're mistaken. It's a misunderstanding. Please, will anyone listen to my side? Oh, darn, another backup fighter beat me to it. I should have jumped on that faster. Boy, that's frustrating. A good part, the guy grabbed it. Now, face us. Oh? Come on, fight us. Ah, are they finally starting? Honestly, I'm not the guy. It's not me. Fight, you lying scum. Why isn't anyone listening? Mister, if you consider yourself any kind of a samurai, then why don't you fight them sportingly? As I told you again and again... Of course, you've obviously had no time to ready yourself for this sudden turn of events. It's only reasonable that a new hour and place for the fight should be determined where it can be carried out fair and square. That is, if the children agree. Well, let us confer on the subject then. But we must discuss the matter in the street. We'll go to a nearby restaurant. Come, come! Uh, yes, come on.
just a little peckish. I guess I better grab a snack. Hey, waitress, bring me some dongles. Coming. Oh, it's been quite a day. But I missed a great chance. If that samurai hadn't shown, things would have turned out different. I would have helped those kids off the floor with them. And then the children could be standing next to their father's grave reporting the whole account right now. The dongo you ordered, miss. Oh, um, uh, thank you. <laughs> what? Those are the Avenging Kids. Father, we haven't eaten a feast like this for ages. Eat this too, Shinosuke. Huh? But you don't want them, sis? Have you finished already? I'm full. I've had plenty to eat. Sayo, there's no reason to feel guilty. He had an ample wallet that seemed fat with cash for a samurai. The guy was richer than he appeared. This is kind of weird. The three of them are acting like a family enjoying dinner. When I ignored his insistence that he was the wrong person and pressured him with a time and place for the avenging fight, <sighs> he claimed to be on a busy trip and he didn't care to be involved with a battle with anyone, especially to the death. Then, just like before, I set the sucker up, as usual. I informed him that I had announced my intention in a crowd of people. It was just too late to return to the siblings and give them the news that he was the wrong one. So then he paid five deal for inconveniencing me. <laughs> the guy's a real halfwit. Dad, now that there's money again, can we live it up for a while? What the? The father of those children also happens to be the kid's backup? But only minutes ago, didn't the siblings say they were avenging their father? It's very strange, isn't it, that their father's still alive? Besides, it's pretty strange, too, that a father who is acting as a backup for his own children would take cash from the opponent they're supposed to challenge. Well, it seems as though we have another sucker. <laughs> I don't know, I'll bet this one doesn't have any money. For a samurai, she's laid back. Dad, another sucker will be along soon. Son, these are precisely the types who are usually surprisingly quite rich. Why don't we pick up a little extra cash on our way home? Where are they going now? Hey, wait, isn't that wrong? Stop there, Slayer of Our Father, and fight us fairly! Trick us because we're so young? How very insulting! Fight us fair and square. Come on! Hmm? No! Don't tell me she killed their father! I can't believe it! Who'd have known there were enemies chasing her pathetic? Oh, I never heard a thing about it, and I hung out with the woman nearly 24 hours a day! It didn't make sense! Now that I think about it, she would always walk to avoid making eye contact with others, and she would camp rather than sleep at an inn. And even her alcoholic binges were to escape the terror of being stalked like an animal. It is true! Right! Children shouldn't seek revenge, brats. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> she hit me. <laughs> so ashamed of what I did. Please forgive, forgive us. us. You think you can apologize and all's forgiven? That's convenient. Wouldn't you agree with that, huh? The advantage you took of unsuspecting folks. Who cares if you're sorry? Do you have any idea how they feel? You should try putting yourselves in the place of that samurai you tricked. And I wanted to back you up. Well, even if I forgive you, the heavens won't. Not the heavens, not on no way. Is this getting through to you? Well, is it? Say something, will ya? Everything you've said is true. I have no defense. She's taking the blame too readily. I can't tell if he's genuinely repenting his actions or not. <laughs> hey, sis, you say something to him. Don't act like a brainless lump. Sis, don't forget they did threaten to kill you. Yeah. That's it, yeah? Do you understand what's going on? Well, if you're a father, you should act like one and rise to the responsibilities and demands of the job. Oh. <gasps> if you were concerned for your children's best interest, you wouldn't do anything foolish to hurt them. Oh. struck a chord. My eyes are open at last. I, Kojiro Takagaki, swear that I'll never do this crime or anything else so stupid for as long as I live. 
Fine, as long as you understand. That's good, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, indeedy. Fathers should act like fathers. How true. Wise words. Yep, you sure got that straight. Mister, you can get up off the ground now. By the way, I'm curious to know how on earth you three got involved in this whole vengeance racket. I shall tell you. It all began 13 years ago in a fight put on by a sword-graced lord in which I defeated his kendo instructor, Zanzaburo Yoshikawa, in a contest of blades. The lord looked on as the fight occurred. Oh, then you actually must be a pretty tough guy. Yoshikawa and I had made a pact before the fight not to begrudge each other the outcome of the Imperial match, but his men claimed that I had soiled the pride of their samurai family. They were given the blessing of the feudal lord to put Yoshikawa's son, Senshichi, up to the task of hunting me down as his father's killer. I then fled with my wife and our infant daughter. <laughs> After that, we lived as a family of nomads just roaming the land. My dear Shinosuke was born then. And my wife has become a headstone without a proper burial in the Takagaki Cemetery plot. So that's what happened to you? We're fugitives wherever we travel, without the hope of finding any respite or refuge. Finally, we ran out of ways to earn money. We began committing these shameful crimes. <laughs> But it just doesn't make sense. Something's weird. In the fight that started all this, you both fought fair and square, right? Why did it turn into a vendetta? With samurai warriors, family name comes first. Not only that, the Yoshikawa house is one of the proudest samurai families. It can't be avoided. I don't know about things like warrior name pride and that stuff, but isn't it dumb to fight over it? To kill somebody for such a reason is pointless. Yes, it is. I couldn't agree with you more. So, quit being a samurai. <gasps> Not be a... Samurai? He's sound asleep. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm a good-for-nothing for forcing you and your brother to spend your entire lives like vagrants. Please don't speak that way. I worry only about the well-being of my little brother. Oh. Should I give up the sword? Being a samurai? Father? The lady samurai's words have truly affected me. Then you will. I shall begin living a normal life. For the sake of Shinosuke. And for yours as well. Does this mean we can stop doing what we do? We don't have to act as if we're avenging? Of course. Oh, Father, I'm glad. I can at last confess to you. I didn't want to do it to start with, and I always felt awful when we did it. How stupid I am. I never thought of your feelings. Truly, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive what? <sighs> Go to bed, dear. I'm sure you're tired. Yes, Father, and you should as well. Oh, I almost forgot. I know how much you enjoy your nightcap, so I asked the innkeeper to deliver a bottle. Ah! <gasps> As of today, I aim to give up drinking as well. Uh. Uh, I'm going out for a bit of fresh air to clear my head. Okay. Utterly inexcusable! Uh, what? The owners of this inn are incompetent! But uh, what? They told me they're out of sake! Excuse me? Can the excuse me crap! I saw the innkeeper downstairs and told him that I cared to order a bottle of sake for my nightcap. He had the nerve to say they ran out. What the hell kind of joint is this? A shame. But would you mind not getting so loud about it? What do you mean, loud? Ha! I could wail like the souls of the damned for all the agony I'm going through. Meow, I'll have you know that. Before the sun dawned this morning, I had concocted a humble course of action to sip good sake tonight, then glide into a heavenly sleep. On the way to this inn, I saw taverns galore that I caught from the corner of my eye, yet I elected to abstain in order to savor such a simple joy in the evening. And that perfectly fine little plan is completely spoiled by the ignoramuses running this inn! Weirdo, just because your plan to have a nightcap got ruined, you'd think it was the end of the world. Quit getting so upset and acting grim. If they're out of sake, they're out of sake, so be a good girl and give it a rest for tonight. What are you talking about? We're getting a different inn! Let's go! We're out of here! What the? Right now? Nuh uh, no way! Good night! Why, you're nothing but a cold hearted fiend! Keep it down! Uh, Lady Samurai, good evening. Oh, you're one of those kids. The fake Avenger that I encountered this afternoon. Yes, the name is Sayo, ma'am. My family and I are here, too. We're staying in the same inn. Yeah, although I was just about to check out. Um, I thought you'd like to have this. Ah, a bottle of sake! Oh, that's genuine grade-A premium! Yes, 
I had it ready for my father's nightcap, but he suddenly announced that he was giving up alcohol beginning tonight. So since he didn't want it, I was on my way back to return it to the innkeeper. Oh yeah? Really? He gave up drinking? Well, uh, I suppose that sake you got there then is up for grabs, huh? Isn't it? Yes. Oh. If you'd like it, please. Here. Oh, really? If you're sure, then okay, I guess I could take it off your hands. Please. Uh, Sayo, your father, um, showed hope, but this is quite a display of his determination. Liquor can drown you. Heed the warning. It will take control of you if you let it, so it's best you just cut out the tippling if you can. think about it. For these past 13 years, I have lost myself, living only in the shadow of that day. I forgot to live my life as a man and as a father. Huh? Who goes there? <laughs> Mr. Yoshikawa! I finally tracked you down, Kojuro Takagaki. Killer of my father, this time I will avenge his angry spirit! Now wait just a moment, gentlemen. Relax, I'm not insisting we battle right this minute. We are samurai whose honor is valued. We intend to fight under fair conditions. We'll wait near the river outside of town. Be there before dawn, don't be late, understand? And think twice if you're gonna consider hiding! Talk about handsome, you're sure good looking. Hey, no way, don't leave. Where are you going? What do you find wrong with me? You learned to live with quirks. Oh, Ironman's so shallow. Dumped again. Life is unfair. Who's there? It's Sayo. Lady Samurai? Hmm? My father left this note behind. My dearest children. I've gone to speak with them. You mustn't worry. I'll return to you in the morning. They're here, then. Huh? What's here? Yes, I'm scared to death. You're right about that. Huh? Hey, what's here? Scared to death of what? Who's right about what? What? Yes, come on, talk. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Lady Samurai. Hey, sis, where are you going? Where are you going? Can't you leave what's left of my family alone? I beseech you on behalf of my two children. I beg you. What? what? Have you lost your guts? No, I have not. Your need to avenge started when I entered the Imperial sword fighting match at the whim of his lord whose bloodlust to watch us die under the blade was at its peak back then. Don't you think warrior conceit and vengeance in a nation at peace is simply dumb? Well, you ridicule us and you call yourself a true samurai? Scum, we've heard enough out of you. Will you please just listen? Why don't you draw your sword? Are you making light of us, Takagaki? No, I am not. I'm saying that pointless killing is to no one's benefit. As I told you before, the time for talk is over. Uh, draw! Why can't you understand what I'm telling you? It all makes sense. It's you who can't understand. The vengeance we seek for our clan's name is also the wish of our lord. Until you're dead, this will not end. It's your death! <laughs> why you wouldn't draw. That's not it. My reason for refusing was hardly this counterfeit weapon. The truth is, my love for the samurai profession has dried up and withered away. Be quiet! I won't listen to the sickening drivel of a disgusting maggot who has forsaken the code of the samurai. Now, for the last fatal blow, afterwards we can return home with our pride restored. His lord will praise us. Prepare to die! Who the devil's here? 
Will you stop that, you fools? What the? Who the hell are you? I have no idea who you are, but if you've come to help him, you're too late. Hey, pull yourself together. I'm sorry you had to witness this, Lady Samurai. You shouldn't have come. You're stupid, you know? Running was an option. Clinging to the pride of a samurai is indeed stupid. You're quite right about that. But if I had run, I... Forget it! You'd better stop talking, otherwise your wound will only worsen. As for you, you three travel on a sorely misguided path. How dare you call us misguided! It is our duty to uphold the ideals of the samurai and protect the honor of the family name. You should have no difficulty understanding our logic if you consider yourself a samurai. Gentlemen, can't you see I'm just a beautiful drifter? A woman? Yeah. Don't preach to me about your idiotic samurai ideals and family names. What's so great about the samurai? Oh, the image! We let you speak and you belittle us. You'll pay for such impertinence! How does taking lives bring honor to a samurai? Utterly inexcusable! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't mind sending the three of you to your graves. But then you couldn't live to rethink your actions and their consequences. Well, don't you agree that murder to avenge murder is just plain stupid? One kills the other, another kills him. On and on, it never ends. Stop this foolishness now. If you insist upon killing this man for whatever offense he supposedly committed, go ahead and do it. If you do, well, then his children will be out to kill you to avenge the murder of their father. But if it should come to that, I won't let them do it. I will gladly step in and kill you on their behalf. Then all this killing will end in a draw, hmm? Hey! Hey! Father! 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 Dad! What's the pillow for? Huh? Dad! Father! Thank God I live to hold you once more. Please forgive me for causing you so much worry. Father! You don't have to worry again. Your dad was wrong about a lot of things. No matter how little we have, the three of us will always live happily together, even in poverty. Yep. That's right, Father. Oh, what's this? <laughs> great, great! <laughs> Honestly, Samurai do nothing but argue and fight over dumb stuff like warrior pride of family names, don't they? Sis, isn't that right? Oh, well, yeah. For a minute, I completely forgot that you're a Samurai too, aren't you? I am what I am, and I'm merely a woman. A beautiful woman. Oh. Oh, well. Oh. Are you going to be surprised over there? Oh. Everything to me. I, sneaky spider Saizo, never blunder. The goods will arrive by tomorrow. More importantly, this is a big job I've got to deliver all the way here from Edo. For our agreement, please have my money waiting for me. Money, eh? About your payment. The circumstances have altered slightly. Hmm? Perhaps I should say that I've changed my mind. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> big mouth for someone who was just a petty thief. Okay, bye, then I sure wouldn't be much of a woman. I said I'm 
gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. That's that, pal. one seems perfectly suited for a quiet nap somewhere. Sis? Sis! Hmm? <laughs> oh, it's me out. Oh, how could you tell? Oh, wait up, sis. Hey, hold on. I don't want any trouble. Shoo, shoo. There you go, acting cold towards me again. It's only my life in danger, you know. Oh, go be in danger all by yourself. It's okay. You don't have to worry, because I'm wearing this disguise. Isn't it clever? All I gotta do is deliver this thing to a guy called Sizo. Yeah. I've been wondering about this whole situation. If my life is in potential peril because I'm carrying this box, that means, you know, there must be something really valuable in it, like some kind of treasure. So I got to thinking. Oh, what wonderful That world. after I safely drop off the precious cargo with this Mr. Sizo fellow, maybe I'll be given lots of reward money for my efforts. Oh, but of course, that's not the reason I took it upon myself to deliver the package. No, no, no. I'm just saying that it would be nice. That's all. Then... Oh! Look at this. Meow, it appears you're wanted. Whoa! Huh? What the? That's me. Meow of the Iron Catfist is wanted for aiding and abetting a heinous criminal assistant to the notorious sneaky spider Sizo, who is guilty of stealing items in Edo and fleeing with the goods. Any sightings of this woman should be reported to the police immediately. <laughs> So that woman was a heinous criminal. <laughs> Come to think of it, she had the face of one. Yeah, she sure did. I should have known. If only she had put the sneaky spider part in front of the name Sizo, then even I would have thought it was suspicious. I mean, she simply mentioned a Mr. Sizo after all. I just figured she meant any old Mr. Sizo. <laughs> oh my God, I made it a criminal, haven't I? I helped commit a crime. Now I'm an accomplice. That makes me a criminal as well. <laughs> I'm amazed. How can you sit there and stuff your face while my life is in jeopardy and teetering on the edge of ruin? I'm not the one who's in trouble. Mm, you're hard-hearted. I feel pathetic. Mm, this happened because you keep sticking your big nose into everything, you big sap. Don't say it with food all over your face. It makes me feel even more pathetic. It's come this far. Why don't you let yourself get caught and be crucified for a while? Personally, I feel it's too late for miracles in your case, but maybe the shock of an experience like public punishment will startle your brain and make it resume growing. How could you say such a horrible thing? <sighs> I hate to admit it, but I have no comeback. I am a sap. Miss, what am I going to do? You've got to help me. Don't involve me. You've got ice water for blood in your face! <sighs> By the way, Meow, um, what in the world was it you accepted from her, even though it has nothing to do with me? Huh? The box dope, what was in it to make you a wanted person? Uh huh? Find her? Yes, sir. You'll proceed according to plan, then. I've already sent my men to intercept. Hmm. <laughs> that damn girl. She's been very troublesome. When you apprehend the bitch, I'll dispose of her before she can talk about things she shouldn't. Actually, my Lord Magistrate, there is one problem. A woman samurai is accompanying the brat. She has undoubtedly told her everything. 
under these circumstances. What shall we do, sir? A woman samurai? Ridiculous. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> yes, I consider it only wise to quickly get rid of her, too. It's your turn. Hey. If you fail this time, there'll be no next time. Do you understand me? Now listen. The dish the girl's carrying on her is a rare and extraordinary item. I don't care what you do to get it, just get it. And do not screw up. Hmm? A plate! It's a plate! It seems to me it's a plate! It's just a plate, but how could that be possible? Two people have been killed and my life is being threatened with danger and arrest because of a dish? Oh, the box! Hmm? I'm betting it's the box that contains the secret! Uh, or not. Oh, it's nothing but a plate after all. circulated. Huh? How did the police get a description of your face and discover that Meow of the Iron Catfist is your name? I don't know. Well, it could have something to do with the fact that I'm simply famous now. You told me the only time you mentioned your name was when you got involved in their skirmish off of the roadside. That's right. And you overheard the man who was murdered say to the lady, we've been double-crossed, right? Correct. Why did this man Sizo instruct his couriers to deliver the pilfered goods here? Huh? What is it? What <laughs> My, they're certainly enthusiastic about their jobs. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, what will I do, Ron? There's nothing you can do. You can't threaten or brandish a sword at government officials. Come on, you better help. Your life won't be in danger inside a jail cell, so it's safer than staying out here. Besides, once they investigate, they'll realize you have nothing to do with Sizo. And don't forget, the shock will start your brain growing again. Then come with me. It could help your drinking habit, too. Mind your own business. Meow of the Iron Cat Fist, are you she? It's going to go badly for you if you resist. Now surrender! There's nowhere to run. My time has finally come. You'll definitely be considered a threat if you run, Meow. <sighs> Take advantage of the gracious offer. You'll be okay. <laughs> Ow, ouch! Go easier on her. She's not going to run. Help me. <laughs> you come along as well. I have nothing to do with it. I'm merely a passerby who listened to her woes. I'll gladly collaborate in any case as a key witness. Uh, really? Well, thank you for your assistance, ma'am. Let's go, man! Move it! Since Meow's lodging for the night is taken care of, I'd better find accommodations for myself. Huh? moment. Oh, magnificent. <laughs> what a beautiful piece. It was well worth the effort to obtain. Huh? Huh? What 
what is the meaning of this? Uh. I intend to personally review this woman's plight. Leave us. Sir. examination of the woman known as Meow, I have determined the suspect's guilt. With Iron Cat Fist fighting skills, she's a criminal to be feared. Therefore, I sentence her to death tonight by crucifixion and impalement with lances. Begin preparing for the execution immediately. You have your orders. Sir! Hey, waiter, bring me a bottle of sake and any kind of side dish. Got it. Did you see the wanted posters they put up? I saw them, I saw them. They're claiming she's a nefarious criminal or something. It's rather frightening, don't you think? I happened to witness a part of that roadside scuffle yesterday, as a matter of fact. I saw the woman named Meow myself. Really? My, my, I would imagine a hoodlum like her must be terrifying for sure. No, she was far from it. I'm certain there's been a mistake, because from what I saw, that young woman was merely trying to save someone who'd been slashed by a samurai. Uh, actually, I saw the very same thing, too. No matter which way you look at it, that Meow girl couldn't have been anything more than a busybody. I've had a feeling that the information on the poster is completely wrong, and it's been troubling me. Yep, same here. You're right. But there's nothing we can do. We can't oppose the word of the magistrate. Since you mentioned it, I have a juicy tidbit of gossip that I just happened to overhear. Yeah? It's rumored that the magistrate doesn't have a good reputation. In fact, it's rather shady. The Lord puts up a front of being a decent civil administrator, but he's gotten too old for the job. And I see, so the man's taking advantage of his position. Well, that explains that. It happens a lot. Don't worry, I'm not someone to be suspicious of. I wasn't eavesdropping, that would be rude. But I was sitting right next to you, so I accidentally heard everything. I have a favor to ask. Could you repeat what you just said in detail? Come on! Huh? The officials are planning a crucifixion down by the river for that cat something girl from the poster. Huh? Meow of the Iron Cat Fist, come out! Yay, I'm free because I'm innocent! Huh? Uh, what's this about? Please, let me go! Shut up and walk! Uh Samurai who killed the traveling couple by the roadside, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm right. You tried to nab that pricey dish where the two of them were smuggled. I don't need to answer you. Why should I bother explaining anything to someone who's about to die? Hmm. I have no intention of dying. <sighs> the plate in question was transported by thieves at your master's request. He must have promised a fat sum for it. But he betrayed them in the end. He had the thieves killed so he wouldn't have to pay their fee for stealing the plate. Your master wasn't expecting a nosy do-gooder of a girl to dive headlong into the fray. Oh, somebody really feels hateful toward her. What's the matter? Did she crush your honor? Shut up, you babbling crap you shouldn't say. Hmm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you'd be so upset by the truth. It's... The magistrate used people to be mere players in his game, including you. <laughs> He's the scum who turned Meow into a wanted criminal. Then, if caught, she could be crucified without proof. Only a ranking government official could manage to pull it off. You talk too damn much, lady! Yeah, it's true. So what are you gonna do about it? I don't give a shit who the mastermind is. I only do my job. If I stick with the magistrate, I can live a life of luxury. Go rot in hell with the other bitch! <laughs> Excuse me! This has to be a mistake! What about an investigation? I have to be a liar! Please, you're 
hurting me! You're hurting me! Not so tight, jerk! Quit your jabbering, brat. Girl, uh, magistrate, you're brainless! I guarantee you won't get away with this! If you kill me, I swear I'll come back as a ghost and haunt your miserable ass till the day you die! Foul mouthed harpy. Let's finish this up quickly. You stop. 
Stop pointing at people, you dumb mannered bumpkin. You're nothing but an eyesore. Get out of here. I intend to walk in this direction. Will you please go find some other road? Fine, I will. In fact, I'll take this road. How appropriate. It's slovenly just like you. Joke away, smart mouth. Good things happen on roads like this. More good things will happen on my road. Next. All right, that's it for real. No kidding around. This, this time, time it's really, really goodbye. goodbye. I sure screwed up. I lost control of my temper and let myself ruin a lovely relationship. Which is bad, since I'm only carrying this much money. Hmm. By now, I suppose it's too late for me to go back and try appeasing her. <sighs> With this, I can only sadly afford one bottle of sake at best. I wonder if there are any gold coins lying around here. Hmm? This restaurant is awfully pricey. Uh, miss, you are welcome to come in. Uh, uh, would you care to order? Um, how much would a bottle of your 30 moon sake be? Huh? Um, well, I was wondering about your 30 moon sake. What's the price of it? Well, uh, you see, miss, the price of 30 moon sake is 30 moon. I see, yes, of course. Hmm. Say there, mister, would you possibly consider accepting, oh, let's say, 9 moon for the sake rather than 30 moon? Huh? Uh, forget it. Reasonable to try buying sake with only nine moan. At this rate, even one bottle is but a distant dream. Aha! This place appears to be a bar, too, and they must be open since the Noren or what remains of it is out hanging. Sake actually costs nine moan? Yep. All right, but you're not going to tell me that there used to be a 30 written above the nine, but it sort of faded over the course of time, and now it only resembles the number nine then? Nope, nine moan is the price. How wonderful to allow customers to drink sake at such an incredibly affordable price. You're clearly a greater success at your business than one would imagine you'd be. Right now, your place doesn't have much to offer in the way of atmosphere, aesthetics, or mood, though some might say it's tasteful in its own peculiar way. But before you know it, I'm willing to bet you'll be flourishing, raking in money by the cartloads. Sake, miss. Yeah, I want this, the bottle here, for nine moan. Oh, and don't bother bringing me a side dish. Waiter, why don't you bring me a bottle of it, too? Uh, June, is that you? What? Um, where to? Oh, nowhere in particular. Then why travel? There is no reason. It's a whim. What have you been up to? Huh? Well, I mean, you live here? I'm... I'm, um... I thought you'd be here. Uh... June, really? How many times have I told you that drinking sake midday is bad for you? Come home right now. <sighs> it's my body. Leave me alone. But your body, June, belongs to me, and my body's yours. How do you expect me to leave you alone? Come, let's go home. June? Here you are. Ah. Ah! Mister, what is this? It's sake. Don't it sake me. I'm asking you what the hell this piddly excuse of a bottle is supposed to be. For nine moan, that's what you get. What were you expecting? Oh, so you're mocking nine moan customers, huh? Don't you mock me. I'm not mocking you. That's quality sake. Lady, if you don't want it, don't drink it. Whoa. Fine, I'll drink it, damn it. I'll drink it. I haven't much choice. But what a swindle. There, I drank my nine moon. Sheena, I found you. You have to come with me quickly. We have a dojo break on our hands. It's too much for us to handle. There's how many? One. Right. We're counting on you. Uh, June. June. Oh, June. You want this? 
There's still some left. Huh? You see, Mr. Sheena's liquor tab is covered courtesy of the Otagaki Dojo. I pity sake without some owner to enjoy it. Don't be shy, miss. If you want it, please take it. I will. <laughs> left to fight here, I guess I'll just help myself to your dojo sign. Ah, what the hell is Sheena doing? The only reason I keep him around is for times like this one. Oh, oh. Huh? I'm accepting your challenge to fight. <laughs> but don't blame me if you happen to get hurt, I mean killed. Do as you please. <laughs> in your presence. 
You all bore witness to the fact that Oatster and I have just emptied the ritual engagement cup, thereby solidifying our marriage vows. Oh, oh no, Master. I thought that was supposed to be our little secret. <laughs> Is the owner of the restaurant in here? Yes, sir. I'm sitting right here. May I be of some service? Please understand, everyone. This isn't drinking entertainment. Owner, the balance that my dear bride owes the restaurant. You said the amount was 150. Yes. Oh. Yes, I confirmed the amount was 150 dio. Therefore, I present to you Oatsta's deed. Will you please accept it, sir? I accept the deed from you. Finally, I can claim Oatsta as mine. That's right. The woman is yours free and clear now, Mr. Otagaki. You may do whatever you like with her. No, wait, please, I wasn't aware. Everyone present is a witness to our union. Bless our marriage. on chugging it down in spite of her low tolerance. How uncouth. Oh, well, if I want them, I'll simply have to get my own. Back then, I was... Don't fret about it. It's in the past now. But I failed. My resolve... It gave out. I couldn't go. I was afraid of the consequences. But now, in the end, look at me. <sighs> Let it rest. But... No! <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, oh, pardon me. Was there a samurai here a moment ago? You're the one from this afternoon. <laughs> yes, that was me you saw in the bar earlier. If you mean that samurai you were with, you rushed by just now, headed that way. Uh, 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 just because he's somewhat good at being one, he finds it too hard to quit the life of a samurai. I would give anything to see him throw away that stupid sword of his. He calls himself a samurai, but he actually serves as a Yakuza bodyguard. If a challenger tougher than he should ever show up, June would be tossed aside. He won't listen when I ask him to come with me to my family home so that we may live humbly and in peace. Yeah, men like him suffer from a severe deficiency of decisiveness. I, I know it's terrible to say, but I wish he would break his arm. Because if he was too injured to fight, maybe then he would take me more seriously and listen to what I have to say. like that are expensive. How many orders of sake and lees did you have? Don't know. Please, darling, I'm begging you. Leave town with me right now. If we don't, I'll belong to that pig Otagaki forever. It's better than spending your time drinking in filthy bars like this. If you won't make a decision now, you'll regret that you didn't for the rest of your life. Let's leave now while we can. Please, June, please come with me. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? obligation to your husband. Don't call him my husband. You have no obligation to that slimy old goat. He's done nothing but use you. Not only that, he lets money do the talking, even though he knows about you and me. He's dirty. Please, June, come on, darling. Run, run far away from here and take me with you now. What's wrong? Can't you even run away with a woman who swears her complete love for you? No, I can't. Because once I was a man who failed to run away. Sorry, I'm not good at running. <laughs> Sis? 
Say, Meow, I recognize you as a woman among women, and I'm calling upon you because I'm in need of your help. Huh? Why are you being so formal? What's the matter? Do you need money? Well, we used it up. There's no more. <laughs> I swear it won't cost a thing. Mr. Sheeta, there you are. Come quickly, sir, please. It's another dojo break. They're too much for us. We need your help again. Please hurry. Well, how many? Two. All right. We're counting on you. Dude! fighter left who's the most important one. Oh? I will be your opponent. Is he the one, sis? <gasps> this adversary looks to be formidable. You can leave this one to me, okay? Okay, understood. Lady Ron. Ready. Sake as well. You were the one who gave me my first taste of that delightful liquid. Doubtful you'll ever hold a sword again. Huh. Maybe you'd better give up. Not just the fight, but also your sword. who interfere in the love lives of others beg to be kicked to death by a horse, or so I've always heard. Oh, why, you, you, someone get the bitch! Uh, fine money and reputation are riding on that woman. I won't let her get away, damn it! Ah! Oh, oh. Why, you wretched no! I realize I'm a beautiful horse, but if I kick you, you'll die. Oh, oh why, I give up, you win! by now. How far do you think they've gotten? Who knows? Who knows? Come on! It was as if they were starting an extraordinary journey to some romantic place where I hope they live joyously ever after. I wonder. Jesus, you're being cold. A lot of things can happen during the course of a lifetime, Meow. Hmm, yeah, I suppose that's true, but... Hey, sis, look at what I've got. What do you think we should do with it? What? You've got to be kidding. You took their sign with you? Sure, because we defeated the dojo fair and square. It was ours to claim. Get rid of that stupid thing. Hmm? She's right. I don't need a stupid sign. Woo! That's 
much better. Yep, when you're traveling, it's best to lighten your load and not haul around too much baggage. Sure got that right, kiddo. That's a first we've never agreed before. Oh, my, you're right. Well, now that we've made that breakthrough, on to the matter of which road we follow from here. <laughs>
Which is bad, since I'm only carrying this much money. Hmm. By now, I suppose it's too late for me to go back and try appeasing her. <sighs> With this, I can only sadly afford one bottle of sake at best. I wonder if there are any gold coins lying around here. Hmm? Jeez, one bottle of sake is 30 mon? This restaurant is awfully pricey. Uh, miss, you are welcome to come in. Uh, uh, would you care to order? Um, how much would a bottle of your 30 moon sake be? Huh? Um, well, I was wondering about your 30 moon sake. What's the price of it? Well, uh, you see, miss, the price of 30 moon sake is 30 moon. I see, yes, of course. Hmm. Say there, mister, would you possibly consider accepting, oh, let's say, 9 moon for the sake rather than 30 moon? Huh? Uh, forget it. Reasonable to try buying sake with only nine moan. At this rate, even one bottle is but a distant dream. Aha! This place appears to be a bar too, and they must be open since the Noren or what remains of it is out hanging. actually cost nine moan? Yep. All right, but you're not going to tell me that there used to be a 30 written above the nine, but it sort of faded over the course of time, and now it only resembles the number nine then? Nope, nine moan is the price. How wonderful to allow customers to drink sake at such an incredibly affordable price. You're clearly a greater success at your business than one would imagine you'd be. Right now, your place doesn't have much to offer in the way of atmosphere, aesthetics, or mood, though some might say it's tasteful in its own peculiar way. But before you know it, I'm willing to bet you'll be flourishing, raking in money by the cartloads. Sake, miss. Yeah, I want this, the bottle here, for nine moans. Oh, and don't bother bringing me a side dish. Waiter, why don't you bring me a bottle of it, too? Uh, June, is that you? Been a while. What? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm traveling. What? Um, where to? Oh, nowhere in particular. Then why travel? There is no reason. It's a whim. What have you been up to? Huh? Well, I mean, you live here? I'm... I'm, um... I thought you'd be here. Uh, June, really. 
How many times have I told you that drinking sake midday is bad for you? Come home right now. Yeah, it's my body. Leave me alone. <sighs> but your body, June, belongs to me, and my body's yours. How do you expect me to leave you alone? Come, let's go home. June? Here you are. Chester, ah. ah! what is this? It's sake. Don't it sake me. I'm asking you what the hell this piddly excuse of a bottle is supposed to be. For nine moon, that's what you get. What were you expecting? Oh, so you're mocking nine moon customers, huh? Don't you mock me. I'm not mocking you. That's quality sake. Lady, if you don't want it, don't drink it. Whoa! Fine, I'll drink it, damn it. I'll drink it. I haven't much choice. But what a swindle. There, I break my nine moon. Sheena, I found you. You have to come with me quickly. We have a dojo break on our hands. It's too much for us to handle. There's how many? One. Right. We're counting on you. Uh, June. June. Oh, June. You want this? There's still some left. Huh? You see, Mr. Sheena's liquor tab is covered courtesy of the Otagaki Dojo. I pity sake without some owner to enjoy it. Don't be shy, miss. If you want it, please take it. I will. Nerds! Nerds! I said nerds! If there's nobody left to fight here, I guess I'll just help myself to your dojo. 